countdown, the usual things. We are uh, starting more or less on time. I am determined to get going today. <laughs> okay. I'm recording. Same. I'm recording. Patrice is also recording. Patrice Thank is you, Patrice. not allowed into the... <laughs> Patrice is the only way that the being that used to be Snail has found to keep calm. Snail, I am actively <laughs> turning down your volume. <laughs> That is understandable. Patrice wishes you a nice day. Help, help. They're being suppressed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, anyway, Liz, do you want to uh, do the honors? <laughs> yep. Okay. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, that was so I don't think that one was good. Okay, I didn't do it on Vivid <laughs> either, so I'm going to do it again. Yeah, okay. Three, two, one. That'll do. That good sounded enough. better. Yeah. yeah. Usable. There we go. <laughs> All right. Farewell commentary. I love you. I hope you enjoy whatever fuck this session's going to be because it's going to be something. Um, I have no idea what it's going to be. So oh, wait. Fuck. Think. I have to put Patrice away. Patrice, go away. Patrice, move, 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 move. I just remembered that I already have a starting gag and it's better than Patrice. Everybody who's listening in the future, I'm sure Patrice will come back. I get freaked out enough. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <sighs> You broke Kai. I broke myself! Did you not hear what's going on? Did you not hear Patrice? I didn't. Just um, I was looking for my headphones most of the time. Uh, I hate all of you. <laughs> it would not be honestly okay. if we didn't start hella late. <laughs> it's okay. It's five minutes. That's like know, nothing for I us. <laughs> I was just also, I've, again, I'm fully expecting us to fuck around for another five minutes, even though we started recording. Great. So, okay. All right. Anyway, okay. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Odyssey. It is the start of Chapter 3, Where There's a Willow. I am Kai, your DM, and I don't know what this session's going to be, because it's all going to very much depend on whatever the fuck you four are going to be doing next. So, uh, would the rest of you like to introduce yourselves? Hello, I'm Jay. I'll be playing Francesca Elizabeth Steinbeck, who is currently mm, approximately seven times ten to the power of 27 individual atoms, currently on a trip downstairs to the secret lab basement. If so, that's where they're headed. As far as you know. As far as you know. Well, I mean, did, was, was any... Uh, no, 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 no. We know it's fine. I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure that getting a single uh, line wrong on this incredibly intricate teleportation circle is not going to do anything. We're going downstairs, mm -hmm. that's all. Yeah, yeah, okay, cool. Next. <laughs> Hi, my name is Liz, and I'm playing Miss Foam Forrester. She has seven Photoshop files uh, layers to her name, uh, <laughs> and it's all going to be fine. <laughs> Nothing will get corrupted. For sure, for sure, for sure. Uh, hi, I'm Mark. I'm playing Biff Hitley. She's big. Mm -hmm. She's big. big. Large, even, one might even say. Still big. Perhaps. Even in many, many little pieces, still big. And Snail, your opening bit. So, uh, hey everybody, I'm Sail. I'm playing Tsugi. Uh, he is the worn monk. He spent the last 30 minutes continually staying at a even pace of angry which is uh kind of hard if you're like actually in that mindset but he stayed there the moment that someone said a rune was in the wrong place he uh twitched and sort of like tried to shift things have all shifted everything went white and before everything clears up you hear him say did we just get fucking izakai'd <laughs> yeah, okay, okay, okay. And that is how we are beginning things. Well, that and a constitution saving throw from the lot of you, please. Oh no! Yeah. Great! Oh god, I've got to make one for fucking Slevo and what are the stats for no! the horse? <laughs> with the oh my the god! The horse was coming please. with us. The horse is coming with you. The horse is the most important part of this trip. Oh, my oh poor Miss Foam. <sighs> She wasn't doing great either. She also failed her con save last episode, so... Sleeve got yeah. a 15, so Sleeve's fine. Oh! <laughs> got a right. dirty 20. Okay. Unshakable. 
So, um, yeah, Biff and Sleeve, you are the only ones that are fine. <laughs> great. I mean, not great for everyone else, but... Yeah. Um, I'm gonna Pretty end. We have Tsugi and Frankie. You guys are gonna be a bit dizzy. You're gonna be feeling a little bit nauseous. It's not hellish, but it's the sort of thing like you know when you make the bad mistake of then eating some food and then going in a moving vehicle. Uh, it's just just that little <laughs> bit of motion sickness. Uh, um, Ms. Foam, that crit fail. Um. God, what damage do you take here? <laughs> Psychic. I just, need to, I just need to mentally go through the damage types and figure out what what, what works best. Motion damage. Are her insides on the outside? Oh no. Mm, no. I think you are going to be taking. Um, please take six. Just straight up force damage because okay. yeah. uh, this yeah. is this is magic that has gone wrong. You are going to be feeling incredibly nauseous. Uh, you, you know that roller coaster that you went on only the other day? Uh, yeah, this is worse. Uh, <laughs> All I can imagine is like Ms. Fum, like, f- like quote unquote, face down, just like. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. The Ruffling dimensions are noises. the same, but the face is on the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I think the other thing I have to do is you are going to be at disadvantage for basically everything until you take a short rest. Because... With, oh, short rest, okay. Yeah, short rest. So like, it's, you're not going to have to wait for ages and ages. But uh, the thing is, it was the end of the day anyway. I mean, it was early evening when you guys arrived at the warehouse and then there was uh, plenty of time for faffing about. So it was, eh, you call it like 7pm by the time that the teleportation circle got activated. Oh, hey, the sun's <laughs> rising. Mm-hmm. And that's the first thing you notice. And that is the only thing hmm. you re- guys really get an opportunity to notice before you also realize you are falling. Thankfully, huh. <laughs> not very far. Uh, you only fall maybe, eh, not even ten feet before you go crashing down an in- like down a hill, roll, 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 and landing in a ditch. You guys are not having a good time. Everything is terrible. Like terrible. Biff, you're all right, but even you are just a teeny bit dizzy. Sleeve Irwin is kicking about everywhere. The cart has had the wheel pop off yet again, and all your belongings are generally scattered. Everyone's feeling like shit, and you're in a forest you're in a forest that is all that you'll know the only other bit of information i'm giving to tsugi and tsugi only because again you're fucking ridiculous process of perception <laughs> and also <laughs> i will note this is only because you got higher than 11 on your con save <laughs> if you had done worse on your con save you'd have been fucked uh but you notice um two things alongside forest falling ah terrible things it's it's like the sun is rising um one as you are rolling down the hill you catch out of like the corner of your eye some sort of figure standing on the top of the hill where you guys just were there seems to be a glint of gold near its head and but before you can actually catch yourself and look at try to look again it's gone. The second thing is, you think you hear uh, a yelp, a ah! sort of noise, uh, that doesn't seem to come from any of your party members, but you're not sure where it came from or who made it. Oh shit, we flattened somebody on the way down. We hit something. Yeah, I think um, Biff stands up and looks around, and she goes, well, it's a lot bigger in here than I thought it'd be. <laughs> Why are we outside? Weren't we supposed to be going under- I don't know how to tell you this, princess, but sometimes when magic goes wrong, like when a rune is out of place, things get fucked. (laughs) Tsuki is going to try and roll animal handling in order to uh, calm Sleeve Irwin so that Sleeve Irwin doesn't hurt himself. Please do. Or anyone else, you know. I would hey, also hey, like. Hey, 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 look. Shh, 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 shh. I know, I know, nobody likes it, nobody likes it. I bet you, least of all. I know, horses, legs, fragile. I know, I know. Darn it. 
You're going to just start slow. Okay, head count. Everybody okay? Miss Flum is upside down and she's doing the lead like, <laughs> scuttle thing. Like when the oh. bug flips over. I love it. Oh, just no. like a whole shoe crab. <laughs> I would like Biff, to gently... Biff will pick her up. Uh, yeah, okay, no, go, go on. Ahead. Uh, so Biff is going to pick her up and like turn her and put her back down. Yeah. <laughs> Legs down. Uh-huh. <laughs> she... <laughs> yeah. Her eyes are slightly aligned and she's kind of doing the thing where she takes a few steps, stops, takes a few steps, a different direction, stops. She's... Yeah, that's that's it. That's it from her. You quite the right eyes. idea. <laughs> you don't <laughs> seem you don't seem entirely uh, combobulated, as it were. <laughs> yeah, that's all from her for now. <laughs> well, Frankie got a uh, ten in her insight, so I'm just gonna uh, go working off that. Uh, she has no idea whether you're all fine or not. <laughs> She is, yeah. Uh, sorry. Um, she would. Uh, she is going to check like uh on the ground to see if there is any kind of like matching circle. Were we supposed to go here? Was this like you know some kind of uh? Have we gone? Have we gone down the wrong tube essentially, or is this just random? Oh, we'd have to go to where we came it, out. To it's do just that. a bunch of kind of like leaf litter, a shrub or two. We fell down a hill. Some grass. Yeah. Oh right, yeah. Sorry, we did go. In fact, go down a hill. Yeah. Oh, can I do a? Can I do a? You're in a ditch. That's some character though. Can I do a real though. quick? Sugi, Sugi. Sorry, not Sugi. Frankie is completely turned around. That's that's completely. You know, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. <laughs> she's still got like little. Fair. She's still got like little sparkles going around her head a little bit. Sorry, Mark. I didn't mean to interrupt you. Oh no, it's not a problem. I just wanted to do a uh, teacher. Do we have homework? Do we take any fall damage, guys? <laughs> no, I. It's, it's... <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> um, to counteract your uh your homework, I do. Um, actually, we kind of did fall down the hill, so I don't know if it would be fall damage because it's just ten feet. <laughs> it's it, it's more kind of you roll down a hill. If you guys okay, want fine, to then. take some bludgeoning damage, I can certainly <laughs> no! give you some. No, uh, but it's more kind of my hit points. You, you're gonna get like uh, the, 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 I've got some, loads of hit points. A, aesthetic it. bumps <laughs> and bruises, but you're basically okay. okay. <laughs> Okay, here's cool, 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 here's cool. the issue. Kai, I do have a specific reason why Tsugi might take some. What do you want me to roll to see if Tsugi can av could have avoid taking fall damage? Like a dex save? Yeah, give me a dex save. Why okay. do you hurt your Rip. children like this? <laughs> it's extremely important. Fun. Okay, a 19. He's he's still <laughs> fine. He's fine. He's a monk. Well, he's, he's a monk. He's got yeah. a feature that lets him not take fall damage. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, I'm dumb. I forgot that. Again. Again. I think you guys have reminded me before. I'm sorry. That's eh, fine. It's what okay. were we supposed to do? Know the rules? No. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> we love you, Mark. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, despite being in her discombobulated state, I feel like Miss Foam is going to try and make an active uh, movement to try and get out the ditch. Yeah, I was going to say, are we like stuck in here? Biff's basically waiting for uh, one of the doctors to follow them Uh huh. <laughs> and tell her where to go. There, there are no, there's no sign of the doctors. You can, no, you can not. climb out of the ditch. It's only like a couple of feet deep. Um, I think Ms. Foam may, I was about to say, Ms. Foam needs some help, but also she can kind of just scale up walls, but also no, she's so discombobulated that she probably couldn't right now. <laughs> mm -hmm. Just pick her up again. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> so it's, white. Okay, this is a micro pit because I couldn't be <laughs> falling into an actual pit, <laughs> could I? Pit, 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 pit. Um, which one of us had the stone last? The the Su fast Sugi? Yeah, I believe it was That's Sugi, correct. yes. Oh, good. <laughs> uh, okay, so, uh, yeah, Frankie is going to pack, uh, like, pat her pockets, like, obviously looking for it, um, and she's like, uh, Sugi, the, 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 the stone, the, we, we can, um, we can try to call the doctors. Is gonna be the operative word. 
gonna roll a d10 only once because I no longer have disadvantage. And he pulls out the stone. He's like, what's up, fuckwads? And then waits. Okay, this is fine. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe we are just, uh too uh far down we're surrounded by trees and, and hills and things Let, let's um let's try to find a clearer space so it gets a better uh better reception so it gets, get better reception better signal yes this is something we can do <laughs> she's going to <laughs> go up somebody was up there what somebody was up there we're gonna want to start by getting up the hill how did how did you how did you see somebody we will what you are you sure you weren't imagining it? Oh, I'm sorry, Princess. We have the only clue you... from me, who is known to see things, who is known to hear well. But you would like to imagine that I, you'd like to believe that I'm well. Well, far be it from we me. Just he immediately sits down. We just both got run through a botched teleportation spell. People are going to you seem to have come out physically fine. Maybe be come out uh, mentally scrambled. I don't know. I'm trying very, very hard not to completely go to pieces here. But please, please, if you could just work with me. Oh, well, yeah, I could absolutely work with you. Um, but I'm afraid I don't have any ideas because, you see, again, apparently I didn't see somebody up the hill. During this time, Bith has... Um lifted both Miss Foam and Slave Irwin out of this ditch. Yes. Good. Uh, you, and babe. has climbed up. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> You're a bit muddy now. I mean, I guess they're looking around. They're going yeah. up the hill still. Are you going up the hill? Yeah. Uh, she's she's going to actively make a like perception check and see her surroundings before she moves up. She just wants to get a proper lay of the land instead of Dirt. Dirt. <laughs> dirt. Yeah, it's dirt. Children, this is dirt. 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 Uh, okay, so this is a check at Ooh. disadvantage. Goodbye, that nineteen. If you don't get good, <laughs> nice. That's a thirteen. It's not <laughs> great, worst. but not bad. So perception. Um. Okay. It's a thirteen. That that's good enough to at least have a cursory look around. You're not going to get absolutely all of the details because you know, your head's still spinning, but you'd get a decent look around. And yeah, you do just seem to be in the middle of a forest. Miss Foam gets to look around and around and around <laughs> and around. <laughs> it just keeps them going. <laughs> the issue is, this certainly isn't any forest that you've ever seen before. Although, I suppose you haven't really seen that many forests before, but. Um, yeah, yes. these tunes are real. They're not, so the, the tree, the trees aren't tunes. The, the, the trees are real kind. These are actual trees. And okay, that is a whole thing back in Nyquil as well. But, um, you generally at least get a couple of painted or inked or sculpted trees in a forest in Nyquil. This is 100% real kind. And 13 is enough that I will say the plants themselves do look a little bit strange, though with that role alone, uh, you can't quite pinpoint why. Okay. okay. Biff is going to uh, just take like a rope and tie up Sleeve Arwen to like a tree branch, um, just so it doesn't go running off anywhere. Probably a good Anyways, idea. I mean, uh, the one other bit of information I will give you, Miss Foam, is you do not notice any person, figure, etc. that Sugi seems to be going on about, so. Okay, okay. Uh, is, yeah, Miss Fern will probably, like, take stock of that and then look back to the two in the ditch and see if, you know, is the, co is the conversation still going on? As Are we is, still in or... a ditch? Are we still just fighting in a ditch? You never said you'd get out of the ditch. <laughs> yeah, it's not lift you out of the ditch. There was no vocalization from anybody right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tsuki is still actively angry in a ditch. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> I mean, the intention was... <laughs> that's good, girl, never know. I think it's much funnier if the two of them are just standing there yelling at each other in a ditch. No, <laughs> well, we have climbed up and, like, 
got sleeve Irwin out here and now are actively looking at they're just still they're still bickering children huh? <laughs> children absolute babies uh, infants uh i think miss phone would like walk over to the two and be like oh god i, I didn't practice back into the right. ditch no not into the ditch onto to the edge Edge of the ditch. Uh, yeah and <laughs> we are the pit crew <laughs> god and just like do you two need any assistance getting out of this ditch what oh no no it's fine uh presumably a 14 isn't going to mean that i fall over on my face climbing out of a ditch no you you can just you can get out like again you're a little bit dizzy so you kind of have to take a moment but it's it's not a massively oh no you have to make a roll to get out of it you can just get out of the ditch <laughs> oh, okay um then uh... See, I want to mm. go marching off up the hill, but the thing is, Sugi's still the one with the stone, so, like... I mean... Uh... Never this... thought about that before you pissed off the guy with stone. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say uh, okay. grabbing it out of his hand, but, you know, it decks. Yeah, this is, again, a monk. <laughs> a monk. Among us. <laughs> oh, uh, uh. It's fine. Game over. We're finished. We're done. <laughs> we won, well, guys. Fun, everybody. <laughs> we won D and D. Um, this. I, I, I could provide us cover a bit. Because I believe it would be more advantageous if we went up this hill so we could see the lay of the land. But if there is a figure that we are not sure about in this area, it is better for us to have the safety of quietness. Yes, yeah, the other upper hand. Mm. Yes, that sounds like a perfectly reasonable idea. Uh, so. Please? <laughs> <laughs> uh, she kind of shakes, shakes again. I think it's less, it, you, you kind of gather, it's less her doing the incartations and movements and more just her trying to shake herself just, out because so. She's so. just vibing. Uh, yeah, you could call it vibing. You can call it uh, just trying to shake out the whatever the fuck happened to her to make her lose six hits points. <laughs> oh, wreck. Um, but she will indeed cast Pass Without a Trace again. Ooh. So that plus 10 to stealth checks. Everybody. Okay, remind me for Dice Parser really quick. Is it a colon or a semicolon to separate? Uh, I believe it's two a semicolon. Rolls. Yeah, semicolon. Cool, cool. We are uh, all now observing the roll zone. <laughs> oh, I just for stealth. Thought right? we yeah. would do a stealth check if we're stealthing. Mm -hmm. Stealthy up the hill. Stealth, stealth, stealth. I mean, are, are you going to be rolling stealth as well? I mean, if we all go, like, I, I mean, mean, if we're going up the hill. Yeah, yeah. I mean, she, uh, Ms. Foam gave that to us, right? I, yeah, you still mm -hmm. have to roll for it, though. I mean, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, uh, no, I just got very confused by the suggestion that uh, we that you do this and then no, we just walk normally. <laughs> <laughs> I was yeah, I just like I. Just... I was more saying it pointedly Shit. because uh, of how you kind of seemed to be me meandering around on your uh, character sheet, not quite knowing what you were doing. I'm trying to. There it is. Plus one. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Well, eighteen is the lower. Nice. Hey! Biff is full on tippy toes. Oh, it's. <laughs> I, I remembered like that I'm she has disadvantage on stealth. Uh huh. Ooh, we. <laughs> Why? We have shaky legs. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> you know. Why? You know. Yeah, we've got. What happened? Why? Okay. So... That's a that one, by the by. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, I'm just. <laughs> 
for so everyone wait, else where? because you uh, rolled... uh jay yeah even, oh wow look, even oh, those shit. of you at disadvantage rolled really well uh because oh, that's what a plus 10 does uh, uh, you guys manage to sneak up the hill reasonably stealthily. You're not going to bypass absolutely everyone, but uh, yeah, yeah, you know what? You manage it. Problem is, Frankie is pink. I was going to say fluorescent, but yeah. <laughs> Why not both? Both, both She's is true. Doing Why not both? Her- best okay she's really genuinely trying she's also <laughs> made of glitter glue i feel like there's like little bells tinkling each time she makes the step. or you know you know those <gasps> trainers that go squeak whenever you take a step and they're made for little children <laughs> or like you know like you, you know when you put like a little bell inside a soft toy and yeah. you like shake it and it goes, yeah Ding. yeah that <laughs> Yeah. Am I supposed to be at permanent disadvantage uh, for stealth checks in the future now? Because that would be very funny. (laughs) I mean, if you want to be, but I think the rest of the party would kill me for that. (laughs) Yeah, please, no. (laughs) We're already at enough of a disadvantage of stealth in general. Yeah. Yeah. By being us. Please. (laughs) Okay. Do we, do we, do uh any of us suffer immediate and fatal consequences for being day glow pink no there's no one around the forest seems as empty as forests tend to be okay nice. cool as far as frankie's concerned she's doing a great job she is mm-hmm. <laughs> everyone else just so just because i don't want to lose track of them we're leaving steve Irwin at the bottom of this hill yes, yes. yeah okay. we'll be back for him do He's not think for a, a second tree. i will forget like some grains or whatever Mm-hmm. So a lot, I don't know. Goes nose they back. do the thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do, it's do you nice. actually have like a nose bag and everything for Sleeve Owen in your inventory? I mean, um, we've still got the stuff no in the cart, right? We didn't I suppose necessarily... it's still the cart. The stuff in the cart's kind of been scattered all over the ground, but okay. Oh, we, did, we put one on him before. Or, we, yeah, we, we did. We put one on before we left, remember? When we're yeah, doing the, the whole, whole, whole song and dance with the hoof pick. <laughs> thing is. What? <laughs> I don't hmm I know that I never actually gave you a proper list of what the doctors gave you in terms of like your camping gear and I do need to do that I have mentally got the list I just need to write it down and send it to you Uh the doctors didn't actually give you any proper horse care equipment because it was only a couple of days trip and there was the assumption that's why he had to demand the hoof pick stopping at various taverns and stuff so um do any of you guys actually have uh, a horse bag in your inventory genuinely i think that we established that we did this <laughs> mm-hmm. it, at the near the no, end of i know when we got the ca- yeah i know <laughs> I, I was gonna say i know i know but mechanically not tune rules you have what is necessary at the time mechanically oh, no. okay do you have any of you have a horse bag or generalized horse gear in your inventories or because uh, like the stuff in the cart will be just have been basic camping equipment um I no so Vic is gonna leave yeah. one rations <laughs> <laughs> one rations not complete game two mm-hmm. A biscuit for Steve Owen. She has <laughs> nine rations now. Okay, okay. Biscuits. So you hand feed Steve Owen uh, some rations. That, that works. Yeah, that's what Biff was doing while Miss Foam was t- uh, telling the children to come along. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair enough. Can I get a hammer space roll for you actually pulling that out then? Okay. Just, uh... Again, this is all background mm-hmm. stuff, but it is important that we do the rolls. Two. Okay, you, 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 maybe it was some oats, like some porridge oats and stuff. She's got something. Yeah. Okay. Trail mix. Trail mix. Trail mix. <laughs> Sleeve Owen has been successfully fed. Congratulations. Oh, God. So, you climb up to the top of the hill. There's no one around. It's a forest. Okay. Uh, what's the lay of the land, though? Generally, would that be another, like, perception check? Yeah, you guys have got to actually roll for this stuff. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Uh, so, Miss Foam. Is it... Yeah, we're looking for like landmarks and shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but settlements, sh- landmarks. Um, any any sign of, I suppose, civilization. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That kind of thing. Where is my thing? Why Why did I even check this? It's zero. 
<laughs> uh, this is not free d20. 16, though. 16. Hey. 16 um, ain't bad. Uh, 12 for Frankie. That's 11. All right. Um, Zugi? Uh, what would I be rolling? Perception. This is perception. Perception. Come yeah, on, observe it, feet boy. Roll your perception. <laughs> Fourteen. Fourteen. All right. Uh, it's nice that basically all of you rolled within the same sort of area because that makes my life easy. All right. I just want to note, Biff rolled best. Biff, Biff, oh, Biff, Biff did roll best. Biff, Biff is tallest. Yeah, so. Biff is tallest. Yeah, no, Biff, you a... are going to be getting a tiny bit of extra information, like a, the tiniest bit of extra information. But Listen, she doesn't usually roll well on these kind of things. i got to celebrate uh -huh. what I can. You should. You should. <laughs> she can see further. All right. So you guys are looking around, and it, it yeah, it's it's forest. It's, it's there's a lot. If the forest kind of just keeps going, it's pretty dense and even though you guys have managed to get to the top of a hill um you are kind of like the hill has a very slight clearing there's slightly fewer trees on the top of it so you do get a bit of a view around but you can't see very far because you're just surrounded by trees slightly weird trees and yeah there there ain't really shit else to do you you don't notice uh footprints of where anyone else might have been standing you can definitely see the trail of destruction that you guys left in your wake <coughs> through the undergrowth as you went down the hill <laughs> uh it's fine <laughs> it's like mud and vines and leaves um is this like dense like jungle type forest no not jungle it's more it's a temperate forest sort of okay, thing okay okay uh, or at least as far as you can tell by a current weather b humidity sure. uh Mm, deciduous and uh <laughs> but yeah again like these the trees in this place do not look familiar biff that is goes double for you because you know actually do know a teensy bit about plants question mark hey, bit. uh you get a roll of nature i if you would like in the meantime can i 18 oh, nice. hey, 18, right. natural 18 nice all right with an 18 yeah, no, these plants, none of these plants seem native to Einquell. Uh, you don't recognize these from hmm. anywhere that you've traveled around Einquell, really. Uh, there's, like, a couple that, like, they're obviously trees. Trees all do kind of look the same to some extent, but the bark patterns yeah, sure, on but them... You gotta, yeah, you gotta consider the pattern of the bark, the shape of the leaves, are they <laughs> lobed, are they, uh... Yeah, yeah. Oh, so these are a bunch of, these are a bunch of trees that you are definitely not familiar with. Um, the other thing that I will give you for that 16 on perception, Biff, is as you were looking around, is you do see in the very, very far distance, uh, this bit where the forest doesn't seem quite so dense or not quite so lush, mm. it, it kind of looks a bit grayer, a bit less leaves, a bit sickly looking, perhaps. Okay, good, great. So we avoid that part, right? Yeah, that's that's mm. where this. Yeah, but consider that's probably GM where the story has is. given us one landmark, <laughs> a single landmark. The rest is, it's just forest. The forest is worse over there. <laughs> that's what we've got. Can I make any? Because because there isn't a geography skill. Can I make any kind of role to? Take a take a wild guess at where we are. Like... Uh, I would count this under history, to be honest. It's okay. not really the same. Oh, okay, but it's in terms of an intelligence. That, yeah. It's a sort of like would it be an an intelligence check or a wisdom check? I'd say mm. realistically, if you want to take a stab at where you are from, I would say this is probably more an intelligence one. Yeah. Just... Does Biff recognize any of the trees? <laughs> That's a natural one again. Wow. Jesus. You probably just wound up in Tesla, Canada, somewhere. <laughs> you don't know what the fuck's going on. They messed up the teleportation, and now you're on the other side of Einquell. You've just crossed Einquell. You're gonna have to do it again. God <laughs> fucking. That's amazing. Thanks. Love you. <sighs> Mock, you were saying. Oh, I'm sorry. I just wanted to know if Biff does recognize any of the trees or plants or any of that just just 
If you want to throw me any bones. Um, hmm. You're allowed to say no. I reckon there's probably a couple of species that look familiar, not quite the same, uh, in, in the same way that kind of like you do get ferns on a lot of different continents. You do, like most mm. shrubs tend to look pretty similar. So you can probably tell, ah, yes, this is from like a similar family, uh, but it they're not exactly the same. It's just kind of like, mm. oh, okay, yeah, no, 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 that's that one's probably this one. And oh, I know that that one looks very similar to this other one that I know that has really nice tasting roots if you go digging them up. Hmm, family. Mm, family. <laughs> Don't hurt me like this! <laughs> uh, um, okay, that's good to know. Yeah, I mean, she's just... I think she does just point at, like, the the horizon and just go, it's weird over there. Sure is. <laughs> Weirdness is sort of our specialty. I'll go get the horse. Uh, leave the stone here, please. Hmm? The stone, please. We were coming up here to try and... Right, right, yeah, okay. Uh, he hands over the stone without complaint, uh, and sort of marches back down the hill, but... Oddly enough, he actually did listen. Oh, that was surprisingly easy. I'm going to, uh, Frankie is going to wave the stone around her head. Uh, nice. Like, over her head, like, uh, you know, you know the thing. You know, you know, yeah. you know the pose. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. For the most part, you're still getting the same static of just... And, but after a couple of seconds, you do get a, a very slight... You did... Fragments of words slightly too uh, broken up for you to be able to understand anything. The only thing that would maybe make any sense is a kind of lull before it gets swallowed by static again. Okay, great. Then you, you know what? Actually, Frankie considers this a positive thing. Um, is there like a particular direction where this is more coming from? Or is it just... Can no, I... it's kind of. It does seem to be the same, no matter which way you wave things. <sighs> okay, fine. Well, there's, okay. There's not. Uh, she's not going to try shouting into it because uh, that would probably be a waste of time. Um, hmm. I'm going to have a think. I would have thought they'd been down here by now. <laughs> I don't, I don't think they're coming here. Uh, I think that we are. We've they said they were going to come right behind us. Yeah. We are, we are very, very far from where we started out. I don't think. I don't know if they can follow along. I think. That, yes, you are quite right. If they were going to, they would be here by now. But, uh, something has clearly gone very, very wrong. Uh, so we're just going to have to try and fix it, okay? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Biff has a think. <laughs> <laughs> I love her. Um, I don't know what this would get me, but I think Miss Foam has pulled something of herself together enough to finally try and put together, okay, what time did we step onto the uh, the circle? And what time did uh, what is that sun at currently? Because we are not where we were supposed to be. How far? She's trying, she's oh. basically trying to do time zone math oh. right now. Mm. Okay, okay. Um... Oh yeah, what fucking role would you make for this? Realistically, I, I mean, it would be it would either be nature or intelligence, right? Because I would say I would say make well, a nature. Could be survival. Survival. So, yeah, oh, wait, mm. For seeing the sun in the sky. Mm. Yeah, Probably, and knowing what time that means. Yeah, it's um, yeah, it's a good. It's again one of those sort of ones that you can make a good argument either way. What do you have the What do you have the 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 largest bonus in? The bonus in. Oh, it is survival. Okay, and then it also... should be survival. 
<laughs> give me give me two seconds i just need to fucking uh, again i always like uh, yeah identify yeah okay so yeah makes make a survival roll then okay you are uh, sadly still at disadvantage because that's yeah. gonna be staying for a while but i wonder because i can try and guidance myself as well uh so i'll add the default on top of whatever the lowest roll is uh, D20 plus 5, and then D20, or D4. So that's 11. Oh, 12. That's, uh, yeah. Okay. No, no, that's, that's an disadvantage. 8. That's an no, 8. No, 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 I did, I did, oh, oh right, 8, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Way. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um, and eight is enough that I am going to be able, I will still give you something because, uh, you can get at least a little bit of information. You know that you are definitely not in the same time zone. You are, seem to be in a very, very different time zone. Um, but for whatever, your head is still spinning and you can't quite work out what that means. Okay. Well, if it was, this is just me, this is just me uh, mm -hmm. speaking out loud because assuming, right, that teleporting is uh, an instantaneous thing and it was evening uh when we left and it's about uh, and uh, it's morning Sunrise. now um then i guess it's like either like depending on the direction that we've gone it'll be 12 hours either way assuming like around kai, kai did we go too far down <laughs> <laughs> maybe <laughs> Kai, what? Kai, did someone add an extra couple of zeros? Are you kidding shit? me? Maybe. Kai. Oh. What? I we, come we from the land far. down under. <laughs> Kai, are we in Story Australia we now? All the way down. You're not in Australia. I will be nice and tell you you're not in Australia. Downside is Australia is technically closer to where you are. Oh. <laughs> If, 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 you, downside, thanks. if you had wound up in Ojte, which you are not in, <laughs> then you would have been closer amazing. than where I love you it. currently I fucking love are. It. Actually, this is very good. Oh my god. <laughs> You're the worst, I love it. You know all the time that I have spent making that whole ass world map? Uh, no, I was onto it. It's fine. Solely it's for fine. this fucking campaign. It's, it's all those fine. excuses about, ah, oh, yes, I want us to expand the restaurant. No, it's because I wanted to do it in this fucking campaign. <laughs> you wanted I, to I put my hand on my shoulder. I know this and I love you. <laughs> it's because you wanted us to move us down on the y-axis as far as we could reasonably yeah. go. Yeah, exactly. Oh I, knew, I knew that you guys would catch on and I was actually so happy the other week when you were making like all the fucking Izakai uh, jokes uh -huh. and everything because like oh yeah yeah you're on to me and I'm just uh -huh. happy I mean, we're not in I, I don't think we're in a separate plane of reality probably hopefully maybe <laughs> I think it's crossed uh, <laughs> no we're just down <laughs> yeah, I just guess you all... could say we're down under fuck oh, you <sighs> I before, before I, 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 before movement happens again, I just want to pitch you the image of like it wasn't even like a a, a move or decimal point. It's just that we clipped the ground <laughs> just so just so subtly that it was like, well, we need to go down and just shot to the other <laughs> side. Just <of> <laughs> God trashed us to the other Seen side of the world. <laughs> Uh, for the sake for the sake of placement, you are not quite on the exact opposite side of the world. Well, no. But you're only a couple of, like a couple of hundred miles off, so like it's, it's still that far. It's just, I'm just glad you didn't dump us in the ocean. I mean, yeah, that was a possibility. <laughs> okay, uh, great, cool. But yeah, yeah I love it. For, for, for the fine. listeners that have not seen uh the Zatori world map, uh I will be adding links in the description below. <laughs> but yeah. Okay. Globe, Welcome Globe to Planet Confirmed. This is. Uh huh. Globe uh, Confirmed. <laughs> the world Geography. is round. No flat Earth shit here. <laughs> <laughs> you just killed Jay. That one took out Jay. <laughs> Sorry, Jay. Please breathe. Oh, boy. Take no, a sip of something. You just caught me by surprise. Oh, yeah. Okay. But yeah. Uh, um, now, of course, that's all meta gaming shit. Uh huh. Your yep, characters yep, don't yep, know yep, any yep. of this. I I I will say I feel like it's the headache that's stopping this film, but I think she's close. 
because yeah. the, the like the J as Jay explained, like it was evening there and morning now. Like she could almost put the pieces together, but she doesn't have that context slash like knowledge of like this is what a time zone is. She knows how the world works, but she she doesn't have those shorthand so she can reach that conclusion quickly. Yeah. But she's close. But also she got six points of force damage. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's, there's also the possibility that the doctors really did fuck up and um, you accidentally time traveled, so. Uh -huh. Yeah! That was also a consideration. Or uh, a separate dimension. We're in the Feywild, y'all. Yeah. Oh, yeah, God. Now. Can I uh, roll a flat intelligence check? Because we've worked it out and I think <laughs> I want to know. And yeah. uh, Frankie, Frankie's next, uh, what she is or isn't going to do is going to depend on whether we know this or not. Uh, that's a 14. You have a very strong suspicion. Not a hundred percent certainty, but you've got a hypo hypothesis. Oh no! Hey, um, Snail, are you doing all right? You've been pretty quiet there. Boogie's down the hill. Also, I, I. Here's the thing. I am legitimately so spatially unaware. I have no idea what the fuck is going on, but I trust you guys, so I'm willing to just write Snail. it out and let you guys Snail, have it you out. ever heard of, like, Journey to the Center of the Earth? Yes. Imagine doing that and then coming out the other side. Oh, so we dug a tunnel to China. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, that's, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> the teleportation <laughs> equivalent of that. Yeah, basically. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Cool, 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 cool. So, like, literally on the y-axis, we went down very far instead of down just a little bit. Yeah. Understandable. <laughs> Have a nice day. <laughs> um, oh, it's good shit. Hmm. No, yeah, the uh, Miss Foam is uh, gonna look down the hill and is you know, now actively looking at, like, how Sugi doing? Is Sleeve Owen okay? Does it look like we need to go down into the wagon and then get our thoughts together? Oh boy. <laughs> no? I'm so sorry. <laughs> I I lost you for half a second. What was that? <laughs> um Miss Foam is looking down and seeing uh like how Su how is Sugi doing and do we need to come down and regroup? So Sugi went down, um the cart is still everywhere. He has not collected anything from the cart. He's, like, at Sleeve Irwin, like, like petting the front of his nose. He's not doing anything useful. Uh, okay. But he doesn't look injured. He doesn't look like he's... It, he doesn't look like he's freaking out. He's he's just petting the horsey. Mm. Take, give, give him a moment, I think. Yeah? Uh -huh. <laughs> To breathe and not uh, freak the hell out. Uh, mm -hmm. Biff at this point has probably started picking up some of the things from the cart. Um, okay. Just like whatever is salvageable, I guess. Um, yeah. Is the cart itself salvageable or no? Yeah. It, I mean, the, there's probably not roads here. Yeah, it's, it's, um, the cart isn't like absolutely destroyed or anything. It's just kind of, you know how the wheel got broken off it before? Uh, mm -hmm. it, it's broken off again, but okay. you can very easily like grab the bed rolls, the uh, like the extra rations that had actually been packed in there, mm -hmm. the meal kits, the tinder box, etc. So you can pick them up. Nothing's actively damaged. It's just all a little bit muddy. Okay. okay. I want to do something, uh, but uh, meta game wise. Um, I would like to consult with the group first, even though Frankie sure. would not. Mm -hmm. um, so tell okay? us what Frankie will be doing. <laughs> <laughs> I think you should just have Frankie do it. Yeah. Okay, okay. Um, I this... mean, worst comes to works, somebody stops Frankie from doing it. But you yeah. can just yeah. say it like you're doing yeah, it, yeah, okay. and then the... somebody stops you. Yes, the, that, is the, I, that, is, that is perfectly acceptable. Um, uh, because Frankie has, uh, again, has this very, very strong suspicion of uh, what's going on, uh, and has run through, like, okay, a cut, like, okay, if this is true, and we are of like literally half a world away from where we're supposed to be going with uh 
a broken car, uh, some camping supplies, and a horse. And Tsugi said that there was somebody around. Then taking a chance on that person uh, because they haven't immediately attacked us might be friendly or at the very least neutral. We're probably going to need people to at least tell us where we are, right? So uh, mm -hmm. what she is Fair. planning on doing is literally just like cuffing her poor and hoof around her mouth and just yelling uh, hello to see if there's anybody there at all as loud as she can. <laughs> Mm -mm. I'm into it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then that is what she does. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You see some birds fly off from a nearby tree from the volume <laughs> of your shout. Uh, otherwise. Oh, that's a good reminder. <laughs> otherwise, though, uh, like again, you do get some skittered and scared animals, obvious, and like the sounds of those uh, fleeing into the uh, forest. Uh, some of them sounded like they were kind of closer than you were expecting considering mm. the amount of noise you guys were making uh here but it's it's the sounds quickly fade off into the distance no nope, fair enough you do not hear anything else that's not to say that nothing's heard of you that's good okay i'm gonna shout again it's like oh we need we're not going to hurt you if there's anybody around we're lost Really, really lost we could do with some help. <laughs> well, it was worth a try. <laughs> Maybe we can ask some of the locals. And she's like looking yes. at the birds fly away. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, oh Frankie. I think it's quite this is like maybe the third time. Uh, that I've forgotten that Frankie has speak with animals. I, I think that Frankie <laughs> regularly forgets that yeah. she can do this. <laughs> it's canon now. Oh, I thought Miss Fern was going to do some drooling. Yeah, Miss, yeah, Miss Fern was also going to just uh, do speak with animals. The great thing about being a druid and also Frank and Ollie is that I don't have to prepare to speak with animals, even though it's you the most it. druid. I just got it. It's the most druidic spell, though. <laughs> Um, no, no, same because because Frankie is Frank and Ellie as well. Uh, she also has this spell, just yeah, innately. Huh? <laughs> this is good. Okay. Um, I love it when Frank and Ellie's like, I don't realize I have this spell. But it's fine. <laughs> Miss Foam is going to, like, she she doesn't want to split with the group, though, is the thing. <laughs> she gets caught in the middle of the woods. That's going to be embarrassing. <laughs> um, well, Frankie can come with, and we don't have to go, like, out of sight of anybody. Mm -hmm. She just wants to spot a creature near the edge. Is that possible? Assuming that Frankie hasn't. Uh, I mean, now that yeah, you did scared them all away. The vast majority of them off. Okay. Uh, what what sort of creature are you looking for? Um, creature. <laughs> uh, one that Hello, spends its time, like not nothing that can spend its time underwater uh, a lot. Maybe a a bird like creature, but one that doesn't migrate often. One that's more native to this area. If her suspicions are correct, that like, oh yeah, we're in a different landmass from the one that we were before. Okay. Uh, so I, I'm either a bird or some sort of like deer or something oh. that would be able to be more aware of other creatures that, are, that is not Squirrel. its own. Okay, so it's squirrel. <laughs> Yeah, so, so, someone, something a bit more intelligent. Okay, well, you, again, Frankie has just scared a lot of them off. You're welcome! Um, but it's fine. This forest, the one, the, the thing is, like, I will give this to you for free because A, you're a druid, B, you know forests. Mm -hmm. um, of course. You, this forest does seem to be teeming with life. There are, as far as forests go, this is one that is especially full of various plants, fungi, and animals. And you, if you do just kind of carefully venture in and the forest just a little bit and kind of sit and wait, some birds will come along soon enough. Um, okay. There are there are lots of like berries and such around, so you can you can easily enough just wait until a bird lands on uh, a tree branch and starts mm -hmm. pecking at some of the berries if you would like. It's um, hmm. closest way to put it would be uh, it's. 
like a parrot, but it is entirely, but like the beak seems a little bit like the wrong shape and it is gray rather than fancy colors. Okay. Uh, so that, that bird eventually appears. Yeah. How long would, yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, so she would cast speak with animals and begin saying, hello there, friend. Night. <laughs> he seems to be a, 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 a re- it seems like a very open pal. Uh, she will continue to say, "We are not native to this area." I, I would like to know what sort of creatures make their home here. And if there are any odd nests or settlements in these locations. The bird kind of like cocks its head to the side, uh, looks at you through one eye and kind of thinks for a bit, lifts up one of its feet and scratches at its head. Mm. Keep her nose, keep her nose, everything, keep safe. Don't go that way. Don't go that way. And it kind of tilts its head, like, uh, shakes its head and is, like, pointing in one direction, which, uh, you don't know this because I don't know if Biff that I actually pointed it out, but it is the direction it out. of each. She just said, yeah, look yeah, weird said over there. it's yeah, weird over there. Yeah, in the, in the whole weird, yep. the weird over there, it's, yeah, the, the bird kind of goes like, don't go that way. Not safe. Oh, it's creepy crawlies. Not creep, not edible creepy crawlies. Bad creepy crawlies. Big ones. Uh, mm. Mm. Keep an old settlements thing. Not for many miles. Not 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 many. Not many around here. Not many. Sometimes. So, sometimes keepers for family. Sometimes keepers family comes through a couple times a year. Eh, not many settlements. Uh, does the keeper have a permanent nest here, or are they traveling? This is their nest, and the bird just spreads its wings wide, gesturing at the forest in general. Mm. It is a very good nest. Yes. Yes, it is. (laughs) Why do you not know this? How'd you get here and not know this? They funneled magic through straight lines and tunnels, and they made the wrong turn. And forced us from our home. And now we're here in yours. The bird doesn't seem to quite understand. It kind of knows about the existence of magic. But also not really. So Mm -hmm. it just kind of like. Scratches its head with a foot again. And then just. "Ah!" Mm -hmm. I see. (laughs) We got chased away from our home. It was a very quick chase. <laughs> ah, and just nods understandingly and then starts pecking at some of the berries on the bush. Hasn't flown away yet. You can still talk at it, but also it mm-hmm. wants food. It's going about its yeah. bird business. Exactly. Bird oh, if I'm so upset Goodberry isn't a ritual cast because she would be fucking casting Goodberry for this bird. <laughs> it's a good bird. It's a good, good bird. bird. Well, consider they good berries. I, I like anyway, even if they're not good berries. Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> uh. mm. No, man, she's chilling with this bird now. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Oh, they're just vibing now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, she is trying to think of, of uh if anything more specific could be, uh. Use what she doesn't want to. I mean, breach. Yeah, if you got questions or no, I mean, like you could you could ask, um, like where to find this person, mm-hmm. like where they're likely to be, even if they don't have like a permanent uh home or anything. Everyone uh, has a room in their house that they hang out in most often. Yeah, yeah. It's like so, like or yeah. or just even just like, have you seen them recently? Where did like where are they now? 
mm-hmm. uh, has the keeper or that Ken showed up in this area. Mm. Family's out. Wrong season. Wrong season. Keeper. Keeper that way. And uh, again, nods its head towards the weird stuff area. Oh, <laughs> uh, excellent. Cool. So don't go there, but uh, that guy, the what... person's there, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Naturally. I do want to say, uh, as a DM, yes, of course, I'm giving you the plot hooks, but also you do not yes. have to take them. If you like, you can just completely ignore this, wander off in the other direction, and find your way out of the forest on your own uh, if you want. Yeah, consider this is, the. Oh, this is I the beginning. See the cool thing. This is the beginning Keeper of the open the world bad story. Rot. <laughs> this is about the keeper and the bad rot. Yes, we want to go see the creepy crawlies that you can't eat. <laughs> The creepy crawl is the one to eat you. Exactly. <laughs> I will drag Sugi over to the creeper and the bad rot myself if I have to. <laughs> I might have to. He's very grumpy right now. I think I think it's a it's a keeper. <laughs> oh, oh, man. oh man. Oh man. <sighs> I'm sorry. Uh, I mostly did it so that someone could just recognize that really quick. Um, <laughs> it's important. Every joke needs a straight man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Biff has basically gathered stuff up and is... I think she's getting ready for transport, basically. She knows we're going to go some direction. Move. I mean, in her mind, you're, you're lost in a forest. She's, uh... She always... You know, she tries to think of like what's the direct thing to do, uh, pick a direction and move. Mm-hmm. You know, she's not like wrong. You do. Yeah. Uh... She's waiting for someone to pick a direction, basically. Yeah. <laughs> I think then, um, Frankie is going to, uh, kind of, you know, uh, do do her kindergarten teacher thing again and just kind of like get everybody to regroup and if uh just uh in the name of do we just pick a direction and start walking uh is miss foam done talking to her bird ask friend ask miss foam about the bird friend all that kind of stuff uh yeah if if miss foam just hears like frankie chirping in the background uh she'll turn to the bird and says Our herd is moving, so I will leave you be. Thank you for this conversation. Good talk. Mm. Good berries. Don't eat those ones. (laughs) You feel good. Uh, (laughs) And yeah, just 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 towards some bright red, bright bright red ones that were probably you probably could have guessed that they were poisonous. To be quite honest. (laughs) Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's the uh, thought that counts, though. Yeah, I, yeah. I appreciate it um, uh, very much. Damn, shout to this bird. All right, she's she's. Uh... Yeah, can we bring this bird with us? Can yeah. we adopt this bird? <laughs> we love this bird. Kai, what are this bird's hobbies? <laughs> I don't know. You got to ask the bird. <laughs> also, I don't know if this bird necessarily wants to bother coming along with you. It's no, I'm sure it does. Chatting, it's bad. But, like it's got its own life. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm a multi-dimensional creature. <laughs> God. Uh, Stepping away from the rich in the life of this bird, especially she didn't even bother to ask its name. <laughs> anyway, yep. yeah, it's a bird Cat names and most, bird most creatures don't really bother with names. Yeah, yeah, it's, I, I know, but also out of the book in terms yeah. of like how you guys are acting, not <laughs> what are actual factual truths around this bird. <laughs> Mm-hmm. It's fine, Miss Foam's Miss Foam is the most likely to know out of all of us. Yeah, so. that is true. Okay. Um, but yeah, Miss Foam like uh, goes up to the the collective cart uh, and says, "I asked uh, a bird uh, about the local area, and they mentioned that there is a." Seemingly important figure in this area. Mm. You should ask more questions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she yes, she is not a smart person. <laughs> we love her though. 
it's it's fine, dear. We've all had a bit of a rough day. Uh, did they say anything about where we might find this person? Uh, yes, to the direction of the bad area Biff pointed out, and there seems to be dangerous bug-like creatures there. Ah, but of course. it is where they are most frequently spotted as well. Then I suppose we have essentially two choices. We pick any direction that is not in the direction of the badness and just keep walking and hope we find an edge or find uh, somebody else to talk to and uh, before we run out of food. Or we take the risk and we head in that direction and hope that this uh, we can make a good enough impression on this important person to... Ask for their help in getting out of here, or at least finding out where we are. Uh, uh, I suppose, unless anybody has any other suggestions, we vote on that? I cannot say I'm not curious about the Keeper figure. Dear, dear, hmm? you, you have a say what? in this, you know? Where do you think we should go? Uh, I think she just shrugs. <laughs> oh. Well, uh, I suppose that does make th uh, three of us rather than four. Sugi? What do you think, Frankie? His back is to you. Uh, you can roll insight if you want, uh, but he doesn't follow up with a smart comment. He asks. Coming after this boy with a therapist one day, I fucking swear. Oh, that's an 18. <laughs> uh, no, the therapist yeah. is here. The therapist wait. is already here. Oh, he wait, no, 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 no. I, I, got the wrong, I got the wrong thing. That should, that should actually be a 16. Ah, well. That's still quite high. <laughs> that's still decent. 16 is still definitely decent. Um, Yeah, he's turned away from you for a reason. He's still absolutely petting Sleeve Irwin, but... When you like look at him, uh, his his hand, one of his hands is kind of trembling, uh, as he's petting Sleeve Irwin, and you, it finally clicks. He's not doing it for Sleeve Irwin; he's petting Sleeve Irwin for himself. Um, and he genuinely seems like he would rather somebody else make a decision, but he's built up so much that he can't say that, so Aww. instead he's asking you what you think. And oh, then he'll come up with a quip later, probably. Oh. Okay, yeah, uh, then Frankie, uh, seeing that, uh, is going to say uh, quite carefully, well, if it were me, I would think... best course of action would be to go and find the person who knows the most about this area and see if they can help us. There are four of us after all and we uh, uh, we can handle a few giant bugs I think. Uh, I would suggest that we wait for a while though, rest, take uh, stock of everything that we have and then set off when we all feel ready. Hmm. That seems wise. Might bring back some of the animals that you scared off, eh, Frankie? <laughs> no. Uh, well. He's he's still not looking at anybody. Well, I mean, uh, if Ms. Foam wants somebody else to talk to, I suppose. Again, I'm just sticking with the thing that Frankie keeps forgetting that she can do that spell to. <laughs> Uh -huh, it's, it's, fine. Good. it's good. It's good. It's good and perfect. It's really good. I can begin starting a fire. Good idea. Um, do what do we? Uh, what sort of rolls will we make to like see what we've got? I guess. Okay. Like if we sp speed well, up time, because like, we appear to have decided on the plan. Yeah. So. Give me. Uh, I. 
honestly, if you have just got a whole bunch of time, you can just take 10 if you want. Uh, yeah. So I think we're definitely taking at least a short rest. Right yeah, now. at yeah. least a yeah. short yeah. rest, preferably until uh, Sugi's hand stops shaking. <laughs> yeah. Okay, in that case, you can have a rest. Uh, if you would like, yeah, you can start a fire. You have got a tinderbox, and there are plenty of sticks and everything around. They're not 100% dry, but they are dry enough that you could probably get a fire started. It'll just be a bit smoky for the first couple of minutes. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, you have a look through uh, your gear. And the good news is uh, now you're, the gear that you've got is a mixture of stuff that the doctors gave you and also shit that you stole from the... <laughs> <laughs> from Remember the kids, you think it's beneficial? <laughs> uh, so you've got things like uh, like backpacks to carry things. Um, for the most part, everything was just laid about, laid out in the cart. But you have got a couple of backpacks that were tucked away at the very bottom. That if you need to carry stuff, you can. You have uh, bed rolls for the four of you plus two extras. You so uh, not sure how or where you're going to use them. Maybe you might need to zip two together to fit Biff, but you've got six bed rolls. Um, <laughs> you also have six mess kits. You have two tinder boxes. Uh, you have an extra, call it twelve torches. Uh, um, not including the ones that you guys have uh, already got in your uh, hammer spaces. You have uh, seven days worth of rations for all four of you, uh, not including Sleeve Irwin, who can feed on grass and stuff, I guess. Mm -hmm. But, uh, and you also have, um, you probably started, once you were going through and picking everything up, you probably, you realised that you probably had about ten days worth of water, but a couple of the water skins uh, popped open during your trip down the hill. So now you've only got about five days worth of fresh water. Mm. Uh, and you also have another 50 feet of rope. Um, I don't like the level of detail that you're giving us. I'm just <laughs> giving you everything that's in a fucking explorer's pack, to be I honest. know, I know. It's a fact that was like, you're giving us days. <laughs> I yes. don't like that. And you are at the beginning of day one. Oh, Enjoy. boy. I would okay. like to, oh, to try backpacks, something. Backpacks, oh. yeah. bedroll six, mess kit six. I missed something before torches. Two tinder boxes. Tinder boxes. Yeah. Uh, boxes. Yeah. Twelve, Two. Twelve, Twelve torches. torches. Seven days rations. Four, all four. Five days water. Fifty feet of rope. Yep. You, there's also going to be a couple of other odds and ends uh, that I will give you afterwards. They are not immediately because they're not immediately in the explorers pack. I can't list them straight away, but they're going to be predominantly mundane stuff that you would use for camping. Uh, they, I think, actually, you know what? They're probably just is one simple small tent that does not fit all four of you uh, from the looks of things. <laughs> it's fine, mm -hmm, we could just mm -hmm. spread spread it out and have like a sort of yeah. a gazebo situation like it's, going it's, on. Yeah, like you've got, you've got a, you've got like about, uh, to call it like 10 foot square of canvas so okay. that you can. That's not bad. Yeah, so like you can actually make it. It's decorate. usable. Yeah, that's stuff you can make things with. Um, and various other, like it's probably like a pocket knife in there. And sure. I will I will give you guys a proper written list at after Yeah, because I'm session. not gonna remember any of that. <laughs> no, I will give you a written list. Um I'm I think... still wrote it down, but no, thank you. Thank you, Snail. I'm thinking uh thinking about something that you said earlier, I'd like to try something. Um that being the you know, while we're poking around in uh seeing what we've all got. Frankie's kinda like, you know, picking through like the rations uh that we've got with like kind of a bit of like distaste and just like uh, uh it's like and um because obviously this is like just adventurous stuff or whatever. She's going to try and pull some tea out of her hammer space. Like some nice stuff. Because Oh the good shit. Yeah, do you have that in your inventory? I do not. That it was going to be my. So can do I roll for? Do I like? Can I roll to try and pull it out? Just, just what happens when I try? Basically, uh, you know your hammer space fumble table. Whenever you try and pull something out that you do not have, you will pull nothing but stuff from the fumble table, and things from the fumble table will disappear within a minute. Oh! Oh, Kai's cracking down now. Yeah. 
The Ty's rules like, are here. The actual written rules, baby. Oh yeah. no. Okay. Hmm. Okay. I haven't actually drawn up a fumble table for Frankie yet. Uh, but that I will. This I will essentially let you look. Fudge no, one. This essentially what this essentially looks like is uh, uh, reaching into uh, uh, an inner pocket and just pulling out like just just a handful of like glitter, like silver glitter, and just staring at it. It's like, well, that's not what I was looking for. And trying to grab something as like it's, it's golden <laughs> glitter this time. Pocket no, sense. and just like pulling out various handfuls <laughs> of like different colors, of, like glitter, getting more and more genuinely like quite alarmed and frightened. Uh, but it because she's just throwing like you know just glitter, glitter everywhere, it looks very silly. <laughs> uh, I don't oh, suppose. God. Um, uh, I I don't suppose any of you have any uh tea on you, do you? Uh, I thought we could all. Do with something to relax us a little bit before we get going. Uh, in internally, Miss Foam, tea is tea is just leaves, right? Tea is just, <laughs> so tea is just leaves. Tea is just so leaves. she is going to try and pull out leaves, which isn't in her. Well, she has one leaf, but it's not the leaf I she's thinking of. That, like half a golden leaf. Yeah, she does have that, but it's not. That's not for tea. <laughs> That's not for tea. Um, so she will try and pull from the uh, her hammer space, which will just instantly fumble. So let me roll her fumble chart. That's a 13. Um, she falls out of rotten bark. It's a chunk <laughs> of rotten wood. Amazing. Mm. <laughs> Sounds good. All right, th- 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 you can make bark water instead of leaf water. Mm. <laughs> Okay, Kai, I do have a few questions. I, I want you to know I've had a table written down for Biff for quite some time now. Yeah. Um, if something, like tea is like a food type thing, yes? Yeah. If we pulled something out like a food and then consumed it or like used a component of it, does it go away after a minute? Like, does it leave our stomach? Does it... Uh, it's the sort of thing where it's... It can go in your mouth, but the moment that it is no longer visible to other people, it will vanish. It has, like, no nutritional value. It is in the same way that, like, magically produced items. Yeah, they that are makes just sense. nothing. Okay. Can we still taste it? <laughs> yes. You know what? I will allow you to oh, taste the delicious because... cake, but it will not fill you oh, up. Exactly. <laughs> Because in Biff's Hammer Space fumble table, she does have a tea set. Oh! Oh! You know this is what? so good. You know what? Yeah, yeah. If if which yeah. I would ima- I would. It's a decent chance that it does come with tea, <laughs> also with with the set. Because <laughs> pulling it out on a full like tray with little biscuits and already yeah. like steaming cup of tea there does does seem very good. I will give this to you. Yeah. Okay. So she pulls that out of her hammer space <laughs> and like puts it down. Um, she does the thing where she kind of like drops it slightly onto like a stump. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so stuff clatters. Doesn't break, but clatters. It's plastic. No, it's you know, fine. It China. probably is. Is it? Okay. <laughs> oh, Biff, darling, you are full of surprises. Frankie is going to take this as the fact that she is mm. just stressed out. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. why it's not working. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, this is tasty. I just would like you guys to know that I, uh, while I have like skimmed through the books before, I went through and read the entirety of the Player's Handbook and the Dungeon Master's nice. Manual. Uh, oh yeah! I'm cracking for down the sake now. Of this. Oh no! Let's it's go! Terrible. Now we're playing Dungeons and Dragons, oh, baby. No. Yeah. <laughs> You have oh, no choice. <laughs> you are lucky that um, 5e doesn't go with you need to make a spell casting roll before you do any spell. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah, so a bit... bad roll. I'm glad it's gone. That does not, that's sure. not, it. that's not a fun. <laughs> they probably like pours some teacups. This won't last super long, but. Um... This is a minute. Y'all gonna yeah. be quick. Slip. <laughs> I think what happens is Sugi like kneels down uh in that seated position where it's still like kneeling, holds a teacup, the all of the set goes away, uh, 
and then Biff just pulls out the set again yeah. and pops it down. <laughs> And everybody just like scrambles faster this time. Because, oh, apparently there's a time limit now. Drinks the tea like you're taking the shot. <laughs> this was. <laughs> it still manages to burn, even though it immediately disappears. Suki's oh. swearing. <laughs> Can you still take fire damage from this? No, I'm not going to. No. Nah, 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 I'm not going to. <laughs> You're already being so mean to us, please. Oh God. <sighs> we are now we got a gag in our system. D &D. <laughs> oh no. Something very, very weird is going on. Uh. Huh. Yes, this isn't usual. <laughs> okay. The good news yeah. is, in this foam, you are feeling you just, a lot you just, better. Yeah. You just had to check, huh? You, you just needed to double check that everything was bad. <laughs> I was trying to do something nice. No, 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 not you, Biff. Hmm? Biff, you, 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 oh? you just needed to double check that, that, that everybody understood that things were bad, right? Well, Frankie wanted the tea. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> It doesn't matter. Uh, let's let's all just uh, let's all just uh, take a minute before we uh, go on, shall we? Tea or no tea? Uh, I'm having the tea. <laughs> if you don't want yours, I'll take yours. But tell me fast, because apparently it's gonna go. There it is. <laughs> Trust tray down again. Good bit. It's so <laughs> really <much>. good. <laughs> every time Suki brings out a plate, uh, every time Biff brings out a plate, Suki does take a shot of tea. Oh. <laughs> it's think... probably like decent. It's probably like stand, like very standard, like tea. Maybe on the maybe on the sweet side. Yeah, it's just like tea. It's good tea. <laughs> Bog standard Earl Grey. Nice. Yep. I think uh, with you guys taking a short rest and recovering and learning new and unfortunate realities, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think it's a good point for us to take a mid-session break. Yeah, yeah maybe. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, we'll be back in a couple of minutes. Enjoy. I need to go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I was going to look something up. What was I going to look up? Do I have my books? Yeah, dude. <laughs> Guys, this is fun. I'm having fun. This is oh baby. Oh god, that's such a good just use of the rule. Uh... Fast and <laughs> loose, no more, baby. Damn, I'm I'm always like I don't know what Biff would do in any given situation because mm -hmm. she, but one of her personality traits specifically is like I face problems head on. A simple direct solution is the best path to success. But there's not a simple solution to this. Unfortunately, so not. Open. And she does tend to defer to the group. Uh huh. And the group is like, mm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, new Miss Foam sibling, Miss Fan. Yeah. Well, Miss <laughs> so we have Miss Fine, Miss Fan. Miss Fan, Miss Fan, Miss Miss Fan. What is this? <laughs> uh, in commentary. In commentary. Mm hmm. Well, yes, I will remind you, Snail. Ms. Fam. Oh, no, oh, Arby's got it. Arby's got it. Yes, Snail probably stepped away. Yeah. Mm. Which, actually, I'm going to do uh, as well really quick, so I'll be right back. Yeah. Okay, I might go and get some some rice to nibble on before. Go for it. Snacker. We fight some bugs. Bugs, bugs, bugs.
things. Uh, I'm gonna have a stretch. Have a stretch. Uh, just Jenna, like, uh, I love this so much. <laughs> Having a good time. Um, so, I mean, quick mention, a quick mention of, like, uh, like, trying to work out what Biff, what we're get, what Biff's gonna do, because, like, Biff is very good for pointing at simple solutions mm. when there is one, and that's what she will always take. But the problem is we don't have one here. That's the thing, again, we're in an open world game now. Alright. And I have thoughts. I would expect all of them. Consider we want to see all yeah, the stuff. Yeah, that's the thing. That, that is true.
I need to. I just want to say, I see everyone uh, talking about, oh yes, finally some classic D&D. That is part of the reason I planned this whole campaign and have had it planned for like a year and a half now. Don't you all <laughs> dare celebrate this. I love it. I'm like enjoying it's... it. Also, I'm eating in the background. That's I've fine. had a hypothesis that the reason I usually lose steam in the second half of a game is because I actually do genuinely need to eat something. So yeah. I'm eating some leftover Chinese food very quickly. Snacker! Snacker good. But yeah, no. <laughs> Yeah, we're going like, to want the flexibility of not having rules soon enough. It's like, yeah, you guys are going to hate the fact that I am actually going to be reasonably strict with the rules. 5e actually <laughs> isn't that rules heavy if you're outside combat. And it kind of pisses uh -huh. me off because I want to, to torment you with a thousand rules. That's just what, well, <laughs> it's not too late for us to switch to Pathfinder. Yeah, I know. I was about to say, I, I own the second edition handbook. We should, we should, like, I legally own it. We can potentially swap over to Pathfinder if we really want. Downsider is Pathfinder doesn't have the advantage disadvantage system, so. <laughs> Couldn't we just put the advantage disadvantage that on it? That is true. That is we, if you, true. If, and we could just use that <laughs> as a home, like, just as a house rule. That is true. Uh, but yeah, no, the whole part of my doing this whole thing was I was going to be, ah, yeah, I'm going to be reasonably loose about all the rules. I will be no more strict than I am in any other Toon Kind game while you guys are in Einquell. The moment you're out of Einquell, however. <laughs> no more just having plots, like various things from your hammer space unless you've actually got it. Oh, I've got to make that fumble chart at some point. Yeah. That's actually going to be vaguely relevant now. Like, obviously, it could just be ten different colours of glitter, but, like, I want it to be funny. Yeah, you got to have, like, a squeaky toy, a little squeaky stress toy. You know, those little bobblehead things where the <laughs> eyes stick out when you squeeze them? <laughs> Kai, I just want to say, I hope you do understand why she has teeth set in there, yes? Yeah, I do. I do, and it hurts my heart, especially when you said it's probably plastic. Like, yep. Ow. All right, cool, good. Ow. <laughs> What's happening? Yeah. Also, Mock, uh, you know, you remember like a little while back when we, you were talking about um, Diff's family and everything, you're like, are they going to be okay if you wind up traveling? Because you're <laughs> going to wind up traveling for this campaign. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Anyway, I'm having fun here. I'm just so glad that I finally got to do this. It's been a year and a half in the making. Like a pre-never-ending pre -never train finale. <laughs> Ooh, baby. Mm. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm so jazzed. I'm very jazzed. I'm glad. I'm, I'm glad that y'all are happy with letting me torment you. I of am. Course. Yes. So it's the best. <laughs> Snail, that sounded really sarcastic, but also really enthusiastic no, at the same time. No, 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 <laughs> that was one hundred percent genuine. <laughs> That was ten thousand percent genuine. I'm so sorry that it didn't it no, didn't it's... sound right. No, it's okay. I think that was just the Tsugi and you coming out. Are we out of water? Well, he's having a bad time, so you can't listen to him. <laughs> Tsugi can suffer. <laughs> you know this is for his own good. It is for his own good. <laughs> this is character development, not PNG. <laughs> he has to rely on other people now. And he can't just run away. I'm very surprised the bird didn't pick up Miss Fem's eyes. Yeah. yeah. I like so... that. I'm not going to torment you with anything uh, actually permanent from the teleportation thing. Now, future events that are your own fault, that I will uh -huh. permanently torment you, but th this was pre planned, so I'm, yeah. I, I'm not going to do anything worse than I mean, making Ms. you I mean, Miss was very polite. Yeah. I mean, she is very polite, but she is a being of light. That is true. Seemingly paper walking around. It's kind of weird. That is true. I, I feel like that a bird would not give a shit. <laughs> you are really okay. fucking so. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, Lewis. Miss oh. we'll let, we, we know this. We know this rule. Yeah, 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 the briefing. We all get it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We all seen it. <laughs> <laughs> we all acknowledge that the reaping is going to be coming, but it's not yet, so shush. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, no, it's not. Yeah. 
You'll still don't know what else I've got planned, but it's going to be good. We and don't. It's and, oh, wow, horrifying. that's a big talk of text. Okay, well, I'm moving. Jade, <laughs> I hold Jade. you on the shoulders. You're you're going off and I appreciate the enthusiasm. May I even say I share it? <laughs> Just seeing you go off in the break is very yeah. good. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> yeah, no, this is... Jade, I know exactly what you think because, like, I've been the fucking... Again, as I say, while I love shenanigans, I also would like things where, you know, the yeah, story yeah, 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 is yeah, yeah. an active force. No, I'm but... so I'm so it's into this. It's so good. It's good. Give me the crunch! The crunch! I know. The crunch! The crunch! <laughs> I've actually yelled at uni about this as well, because uni is also, uh, has, like, is the whole same. I, it was meant to be classic D&D, but with tunes in it, rather than d and <laughs> so, Also, um, what I was had gone off about a little while ago in the yeah, I think, talk. Yeah, I think a lot of people have actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, the reaping, we've all seen it. <laughs> Yeah, that's the one. Oh boy. I think a lot of people have the same thing. I'm just kind of like, yes, we're doing this now and no backing out. You are on the other You're side of the world Kai's and I'm world not now. letting you back. Oh, God. You are taking the long route home oh, and that's no. why this is called the Odyssey. The Odyssey. Yeah. I love it. Oh, <laughs> okay. Maybe, should I get any more? I guess I need to get more specific on what she has on her. I have, uh, I might have to re- change her character design to reflect if she's going to be carrying things not in the hammer space i do technically have like the things that are in her equipment i imagine she kind of has on her but Uh, yeah you guys she uh absolutely there is a mall in there so she probably isn't carrying that around in her pocket like you guys can absolutely keep carrying as much stuff in your hammer space as you want as long as it does like fit the hammer space rules it's uh, it's just basically you can't just pull whatever out of it. I think what what was the thing that we had in the last session? A bedazzled shovel. Yeah. <laughs> so mm-hmm. you can't. Fuck. Really... Does that mean I can't pull a mattress out of it anymore? No. Not yeah. Unless I think the mattress got... map is gone. Oh, sorry. <laughs> well, not for more than a minute. So you could catch somebody. Who's no, falling. it's not three by three. No, no, no. It's, it yeah. won't do it. It you won't do it. It's. You can't fit. You can't fit that. And the other thing is, like, if it's not either in your inventory or your pre-made uh, hammer space fumble chart, you can't have it. I will be nice. And I say, mean, if you haven't, I did put it. I did write it on her character sheet. Okay, no, that's shit. Yeah, <laughs> it's okay. literally. I could like. Sh- I could take a screenshot right now. No, no, you're right. I remember. But also, okay, but like, uh, the is the general shovel, rule that it just won't no work. Unicorn. The stuff, okay, the okay. stuff just won't do what it's supposed to. Okay, I think what is going to happen here is you cannot pull out that mattress unless yeah. you are in a, an area of sufficiently toony magic for you to be okay. able to go nuts with your hammer space again. So it's still in there, it's just inaccessible. Hell yeah. She's got a, she's got a shovel, a mattress, stuffed unicorn, Lockie's hat, and a huge bag of Halloween candy. Hell yeah. Are the things I have specified outside of like the regular D&D Explorers okay. pack and her starting equipment. I love this. I hope I'm... that I hope that unicorn actually comes into play at some point. I mean, here's open. She's also got under her equipment, which I have as a separate thing. I it's stuff I imagine she kind of has on her or that she's wearing. Yeah, like mm-hmm. what you would have equipped. But the mall, like the, the light, the lead pipe might be in uh, in hammer space. Um, she does have a shield. She's got a, a mace, which is a uh, flavored as a big fuck off wrench. Nice. Oh, got chain yeah. mail. Re- related to that question, um, uh, Frankie's uh, weapon is uh, a reskinned quarterstaff. An umbrella is actually a shit weapon to use. They break very easily. Does I'm... this or it, does this still count because it's toon weaponry and it's it'll still do its thing? Going to count as an improvised weapon. Basically, what? Uh, and now the thing is, improvised weapons can actually still use the same stats as uh, regular weapons. It's just the sort of thing of you don't have proficiency. Yeah. Oh uh, well. Oh no no. It, the, the the proficiency does count if, if you do have proficiency with the weapon it's styled after. It's uh so like you can still okay. continue using it as normal. However, I may make it break on you at some point. Oh, you're the or uh slowly lose efficiency. Oh, Hell yeah. No. Breath of the Wild. I just want to also say. Animation. I didn't get all the way down the list. She has chainmail, uh, which is kind of her, yeah, her vest. Ch- like, talking about the chainmail, are you actually wearing it, like, yes. underneath your clothes? Or is it just you have... I, re- well, I have it flavored as it's her vest that she's got. Okay, so... It's a thick material. Okay, okay. 
I will I will let that I will be nice and let that count because I don't want you to actually lose your armor considering you're the party tank and you're Yo. the only one with hit points. <laughs> and she has a holy symbol, which is a signet ring of the boss. Yeah, okay. The boss. So the those boss. count. Oh, the yeah, boss. the the chain the chain is another chain one on my neck. list of things I needed to kind of double check mm. with. Mm, okay. It's it's cause the uh, the thing is you can say that maybe the vest is uh silk because if it, or I mean, it's normally, because it uh, if it's silk, is silk is actually really resistant to being pierced. So, okay, we'll see. I will be nice. We'll talk about it. it. We can work. talk. We can. Yeah, we can we'll, talk. We can yell about it later. Numbers. So, numbers game. Crunch. So I, I haven't. Have now. So my okay. thing is, I I've never started making a fumble table for Sugi yet. I am more than happy to like. Um, only use stuff he picks up as his fumble table if we want to do it that way. I am okay with you guys. I've, you guys can still always use the default fumble table if you like. That is available to all tunes. Um, but if you guys want to make custom fumble tables for your characters knowing that shit in them is possibly going to be used now, I mm. trust you guys to not go purposely adding things on there that are meant to be useful when you don't have an, uh, this sort of item in your inventory. Yeah, Biff has a water yeah. purifier. I didn't know if I mentioned that. But... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that sort of. Exactly. Although I would like to to point out for um, my teammates here, uh, you probably have about mm, two days of water more each because the reason you don't want to drink bad water is because you would get sick, correct? Uh, yeah, I suppose, I guess a parasite might be different. Biff as a paladin has divine health, so she's immune to disease. Like, I mean, <laughs> yeah, that's that's fine. And it's again, all right for Biff. <laughs> just take a sip. It's cool. Take a sippy. <laughs> yeah, but like, it's the sort of thing where I hope you guys know to boil your water before you go drinking it. Are you kidding? <laughs> <laughs> Which of us is going to know to do that? Make a Honestly? survival roll. Honestly, maybe Miss Foam. Yeah, make a survival roll. Uh, also, Jade. Yeah, I am going to be fitting. If things must fit, the three by three foot, like the three foot cube. Uh, rule. Three foot cube of glitter. Yeah, you can have a three foot cube of glitter if you wish. Thank you. Uh, so yeah, anything. anything it's just a that bin. You <laughs> currently have in your inventory that is larger than that three foot cube, you cannot access until you are somewhere toony enough that you can open your hammer space that wide again. So. Oh damn! So I'm just gonna have to carry around my spear like a pleb now, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think I was no more yeah. pulling it out of your pants. Sorry, Tugi. He's gonna be so angry when he realizes that. Right damn, now, it's I just am... like. Sorry. But, go ahead. No, I'm thinking about the the because the big fuck off wrench she definitely ha can get out. I'm thinking about that lead pipe. I've dar I've drawn it very large. <laughs> it yeah, is pretty is huge. That is but she true. that's but she has great weapon fighting. That's like the whole point of having it. And I suppose it's the sort of thing where it is adjusted to size to suit you. Um hmm. Turn it sideways. Let's get out. <laughs> we'll talk about it. Yeah, I think that's one to talk about. I, I, what I'm leaning towards now is you can probably pull it out, but I'm gonna you might take damage from pulling it out because and then you will not be able to put it back in. I'm not going to make any comments. Nope. I'm not going to make any comments nope. on the words you just said. <laughs> yep, I know. You, 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 those, those are some very we wrong continue words. continue on! <laughs> Look, if you pick up innuendo and in what you say, that seems like a you problem. <laughs> it, is. it absolutely is. You That's guys are the ones with your minds in the gutter. <laughs> I'm just, I'm not drawing attention to it. I am breezing over it. <laughs> you say... For sure. You just drew attention to it, though. No, it's fine. It's around cool, it's fine. It's you, it's fine. It's fine. If you pick up on innuendo from what I was specifically mentioning that I wasn't going to mention, uh, that's a you problem. Fine and good. What's the, what's the check in the time? Yep. <laughs> do we want to play the game? Yeah, do we want to actually go back to picking up after you guys have had a short rest? Yeah! <laughs> sure. Oh, I need to roll hit dice. Yeah, I'm ready to come back in. I'm fine because I can't recover any. Uh, I'm at full uh, hit points for what it's worth and I don't have... Uh, I can't recover oh, any yeah, spell slots during the short rest, so... <laughs> Yeah, I I right. took force damage. Hey. <laughs> I need that to help us. Hey. And also, yeah, she told me to do uh, natural recovery because she spent a spell slot, and that would be helpful. Yep. Um, two spell slots, so she can get her thingy back, and then I'll just roll dice. Uh, 
What did do what it. did Druid choose again? Is it D eight, D six? I think it's D eight. I do I not have remember. No idea. Hey, right, come on, come on. You, you expect me to know things? I literally put down Sugi's hit dice in his little uh info sheet table it's a D8. part because I okay. can't remember. Uh, oh, question: yeah. Who was it that repaired the cart? Was it Biff? Was oh, it no one yet. No one yet. No okay. one yet. Just just they the picked up all the quick. pieces, but cool. you know. Okay. Do we want to like have a have a like a joint go at that? <laughs> I mean, it could be a case of. I was about to say everyone was like, in reality, it's probably gonna be Biff. But people lift up the cart, and then Frankie puts it on, and uh, yeah, uses... Biff can lift the cart. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> she can do. It. And, yeah. And then think Frankie can use mending again because that Ooh, is yeah, what she's Yeah, that's a cantrip. I could just do that as many times as I like. Yeah. Oh my god, also. Frankie with a useful cantrip. I know, right? Oh I mean, it's gonna be useful out here if we go have to manage our items more specifically. Yeah, you'll yeah. be glad of it. Uh, <laughs> also, yeah, she didn't fully heal, but that's close enough. I suppose, like, if you've got the cantrip mending, you can just perpetually repair your umbrella. I can. Uh, it's, as long it's, as it's it uh, one foot by one foot. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. yeah. It depends yeah. on how... As long as the break is no larger than that, so... Yeah. yeah. We'll see how If it gets go. broken, like, vertically, you're, you're fucked, but... <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Simply don't break it vertically. Cleft in twain. <laughs> I shall I, be avoiding uh, that all is... twains. That is Miss Foam's thingy. Uh, well, I'm ready to begin again. Hooray! <laughs> okay. What do we roll for the cart? Um, I'm... Hmm. You know what? You're give give nice. me... Uh... You're feeling so nice to us. <laughs> You're feeling extremely <laughs> kind to the party. <laughs> Everyone give me survival, and oh, I God. will pick the average. Yeah, baby! Let's go! Maths, maths, maths! Go, Miss Foam. 25. Nice. 17 from 17. 17. <laughs> Ooh. A zero. And a 12. Let's <laughs> keep getting some abysmal rolls this session. Oh, yeah, it's not good. It's well, not been great. I mean, the good news is that 25 from Ms. Foam makes up for it. Uh, so. Frankie is actively uh, detrimental yeah, to the so process. That's, that's an average of 11. Yeah, you guys <laughs> managed to. <laughs> you guys successfully managed to repair the cart. It is a bit of a go. You take a bit of time. I think there's one point where uh, probably Frankie goes like, oh no, you got a splinter, and you drop it, and Sugi just goes down underneath it. <laughs> <laughs> Wiggle. Or um, But yeah, you managed to pull it back together. One thing I will give to all of you, seeing as all of you did actually have a part in this. Actually, you know what, Frankie, you don't get to notice it. <laughs> <laughs> but otherwise, uh, all you of with you that zero. zero. All of you, uh, everyone else gets to notice it uh, as you are repairing it. You notice that the underside of the cart seems a bit paler than the rest of the cart. Like, the actual wood that makes it up doesn't seem to have the same kind of dark pigment as before. It's a bit hard to notice at first, because, again, everything's covered in mud from when you guys went down the hill. But uh, it doesn't... It, like, it, just, it doesn't seem quite as bright and saturated as it should be. I don't like that. My my hands is on my... my I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. That's okay. Wait, okay, hang on. I was I was just assuming that that was because the top half exploded, so dust was everywhere. Is that is that something more concerning than what I was thinking? I mean, do you want to um, have a look? I would love to have a look, actually, even um, though my look will not be amazing. Um, investigation, then, please. Hey, can you pop a guidance on me? Yes, uh, I can. Mom? Yes, you will. Okay, does anybody else have a better guidance than one? Plus one? Um, no. <laughs> Frankie, no. right? Frankie well, has noticed. Is plus a d4. Oh, right. Shit. Yeah, guys, it's a d4. Uh, it's, uh... it's a d4. Yeah. I'm just trying to see if anybody has a natural modifier, because you get to add your modifier and the guidance. Oh, you mean the modifier? Yes, yeah, sorry. What are you doing? Investigation? Yes. Oh, yeah, let me see. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, that's uh -huh. a minus two. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, is that gonna help? We're, we're cruising, boys. 
Nineteen. There we go. That's nice. Okay, thank God. Uh, what 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 the hap is fucking? <laughs> so, uh, you know, it was like nearly a whole week ago now. God, so long ago. <laughs> when you were first leaving the museum, Hermetica, and you were traveling through the woods with Bertie, and uh, you found some trees uh -huh. that kind of got a bit drained of color and uh -huh. people's suspicions about why those trees had been uh, drained of color this uh it doesn't seem completely drained of its body and everything but it it, it there's there's a little bit to it it's certainly similar <laughs> hmm okay so here's the plan as soon as we find civilization we're going to make sure that we get a nice hotel we're going to sell a cart, and the next day we're going to buy a different cart. Don't ask me why. What? Why? It seems to be faulty, but we can manage. I will Biff not. has mastered not asking why. <laughs> <laughs> I will also know. Again, it's only on the underside of the cart, no other points. I have horrible ideas, but Frankie got a zero. <laughs> Save those horrible ideas, she can brood on it and bring them up later. She's not allowed, is it's a fine. zero, she doesn't know. <laughs> she has no idea that oh, anything's wrong. Oh, that's right, wrong. and Sugi isn't telling her. <laughs> Fuck. Played us well we have played ourselves. Are we ready to go finally see the Keeper? The wonderful yep. Keeper of Oz? <laughs> We're probably not going to find them this session, but sure. <laughs> it's I mean, we got to try. We also have, like, tomorrow, so I think we'll mm -hmm. be okay. We go. Yes. Yeah, we go. Okay, you head off in the direction that Biff spotted and the bird said, don't go. But also, yes, do go. <laughs> but also, don't go. <laughs> well, the bird said, don't go there, but if... You were looking for this person, that's where they'd be. Yes. But they yeah. didn't say, go there to find this person. Just said, they the just... person's in the area that you shouldn't go. <laughs> mm -hmm. Neither implying that we should or should not go there with that statement. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. You guys are going to have uh, a bit of a time getting through the woods with the cart, to be honest. Um, mm -hmm. like It's certainly easier than carrying all the gear because it's a lot of gear. It'd be kind of heavy because... Uh, Hey, you know what you guys also need to pay you paying attention to now? How much Oh you no! No! No way! <laughs> How oh, dare you! And none of you are over encumbered yet because, you know, you, you're carrying a reasonable amount of shit. But, um, please do start noting down the weights of items. And I also... refuse. How about if I refuse? <laughs> what if we just rebel? <laughs> well, then I demand your character sheet and I'll fucking do it for no! you. <laughs> Again, the good news is you do still have your hammer spaces, which does hand wave stuff. If you've got it stored in your hammer space, then I'm gonna say it doesn't count towards your weight. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be cruel. I'm not gonna be that cruel. Okay. Uh, so yeah, you guys have a bit of a time. There are points where you do have to kind of make sleeve walk backwards, to, and, you, and you know how much horses love walking backwards. <laughs> oh, it's their favourite thing. Uh, specifically to kind of get around a couple of trees that grew a bit too close together that the cart's not going to be able to fit, to fit through. Um, and it's, it's, there are points where, like, the wheel gets stuck, or, okay, nope, this bit's slippery, this is, this is, uh, and someone gets a butt covered in mud. Nice. <laughs> So you guys are going to be having a bit of a time, but you can manage it. Can I please get uh, survival rolls for everyone just to make sure that you guys are staying on track? Yeah, let's go. This is D&D. Twelve. Who wants a D4? Oh, better than a zero. Better than a zero. <laughs> um, uh, Biff has just no modifier to it, if that's anything. With, yeah, I can give, you can take a D4. Yeah. Tsugi uh, is too busy with uh, sorting sleeve. Miss six total. <laughs> oh, oh, baby. It, like, right, Biff, Biff um, is a bit of a city girl. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. How, Biff? What are you getting distracted by and or lost in uh, with in this forest? <laughs> Like you've got every, you've got all, you've all got Ms. Foam to keep you guys on track, thankfully, so you're not getting lost. But I do want to know what Biff is distracted with. Hmm. Going past a herd of deer, well, just going cows. 
Uh, no, I mean, she's just, she's really looking around. I don't think she's ever really been in a place like this. Like, she's been in forests before, but this is, like, wild. Or, like, you know what I mean? Like, so untamed, wild, and real kind forests. I mean, listen, you go out in the forest in the middle of the night, dig a big hole, have fun. Um, <laughs> You're focusing on the hole, not the forest, really. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> So I on like honestly that might just be it, and then so she's not watching her feet, so she's probably tripping over shit. She doesn't have great dex There's form also the potential either, so. of very briefly encountering uh, one of these little creatures, which oh it's a dick. Oh, them guys! <laughs> I love dick dick so much. They're so fucking tiny. They That's whistle. the smallest goat I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> but it very quickly skitters off into the undergrowth, but you do you do spot it for a very short second, and you have no idea what the fuck it was. It was a goat, <laughs> a really small goat. <laughs> uh, Ms. Foam, thank you for keeping the entire party on track, because God <laughs> knows they need it. Hold her off the uh, brain cell. <laughs> I mean, they kind of got a flavor when they went into the forest outside of the uh, <laughs> the museum. So now she's like, I right, we need to. You know, start snapping fingers, start be like this way, just on it a bit more. <laughs> you can't be each other right now. <laughs> yeah. To be fair to Tsugi, once again, I have established that he has an absolutely shit sense of direction. <laughs> so even though I have a plus three to survival, that does work that he got absolute crap. Mm -hmm. I, I do love that the dice are repeatedly backing up Tsugi being terrible with with directions. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> really good. Uh, so yes, you guys continue onwards, and uh, it's a bit of a trek. You guys are going pretty slow because this is rough terrain. You're going to be at it for a number of hours, frankly. But is, are there any conversations that you guys want to have while you are traveling, or anything that you want to do while you're going about? Keeping I in mind that have... you're all muddy and tired, and it's oh, yeah, Biff, Biff has the mud from the fucking mud skipper incident. Still, she yeah. has not. So he towed her down, but he could only do so much. Yeah. yeah. Also, you're all jet lagged. Uh, surely it's sleep time soon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Except no, it's midday now. Frankie wants a nap. <laughs> Nappy Baby want time. Nap. <laughs> uh, before they left the original area, like as they were initially getting the short rest done, uh, and speak with animals was still up. Sugi would have asked if um Ms. Foam had or or Ms. Foam's animals. Hang on, I gotta sneeze. Which means of course it's gonna go away. Yep. <laughs> um yep. it always does. Always does. Mm -hmm. Um always has always will be. Um if any of the animals that had like come back had noticed either a creature that could speak like a human or the human-like creature that he saw earlier. I'm guessing that's not going to yield anything because, again, Frankie did scare off all the creatures. Um, that was a bird after that. We waited. <laughs> that came oh. back, which doesn't mean that he was around. He, he, might, he might have seen all the other birds going away and been like, oh, I guess I'm going to go over there because now there's going to be plenty of berries. <laughs> Yeah, pretty much. Uh, like out of uh, again, meta gaming slightly here. If you had asked the bird its name, then yes, it would have said it doesn't worry about names. But the keeper calls it one who is reckless. So <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh, very good. Uh, but yeah, so this it's you will encounter animals. You can hear birds in the trees. Uh, you can see uh, like a couple of small creatures going about the undergrowth. Um, Tsugi, with your not great survival role, you don't know, you don't see it, but Ms. Foam, you will see various, uh, animal tracks about the place, and it's quite nice and easy for you to spot little animal trails that are going to be easier to walk along and drag the cart along, um, and, you know, not get caught up in a shit ton of brambles. Mm -hmm. But, uh, it's, this is a full forest, but the further you go, the quieter it starts getting and you start noticing that the trees aren't as leafy and bright as hmm. uh, it should be but again you are still traveling is there anything else that you want to do before i move on uh oh uh, god miss phone will you know as soon as she notices it she says uh 
we seem to be reaching the area that Biff pointed out, though I don't know how far in until we reach the precipice of it all. Uh, I could again. I suppose uh, we we all we can all we can really do is be on the alert then. Frankie is mm. tired. Mm. I could provide the magic so we can be a little more hidden as we traverse into this area. Oh, would you, dear? That would be that. That would be uh, that would be wonderful of you. Mm. Uh, and yeah, she will cast Pass Without a Trace again, but this specifically, uh, which will cast it, uh, so she doesn't have to use up that second level spell slot. Nice. So that nice. is 10 minutes since we're keeping track of numbers! Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, you guys are, I'm gonna be nice and say that you still have it active, but you are, like, just at the very end of it. Uh, oh, no, 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 I'm recasting it. Oh, wait, oh, sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah no, no, because the ritual cast. Yep, yeah, no, never mind. Yeah. Um, yeah, so you don't encounter everything as you travel other than, again, it is a, it is a rather gradual change. You don't notice anything, uh, outright wrong yet, but you do have, um, again, it's just like things just don't seem to be as quite as full as life as they were before. Suki, with your perception, um, yeah. What? Oh, one moment, one moment. Um, <laughs> Sorry. I'm Sorry, it's unrelated. That's okay. With your perception there, that is... Uh, yeah. You also notice that the trees don't seem to be as bright as before. You also notice that there aren't quite as many animals as before. And I think also, uh, Tsugi, you are probably the first to, not to hear rather than see something large kind of shuffling through the undergrowth. It's not crashing. This is the sound of something that knows how to move in this environment. Um, but it's not silent. You can just hear it. It moves in the way that he we do not. Yeah. <laughs> in the way that we do not. Suki immediately pulls sleeve Erwin short and listens, waits. Can he tell from the shuffling which direction it's coming from? Uh, is it coming towards them? Is it walking one direction so they could just move around it? Is it behind them? Uh, actually, one moment. I need to do a thing real quick. Because, you know what the other thing I'm actually going to start doing? There are certain roles that I'm going to be doing uh, where you guys aren't going to see it. Mm. Nice! Uh, Fair. Oh my god! Yeah, the what is this? D&D? Yeah. Okay, so, uh... Well, that's a good omen. <laughs> no. no, no. This, does I mean, Jay see them? You, no, for you guys, yeah, it is actually a good omen. I don't uh, see it, it's just Kai's Suki. laughing, so, like... I do not see it. Suki. Well, are we, are uh, we sneaking? You, uh, yes. I guess we'll find that, we'll, we'll do that afterwards. Um, no, actually, can you please do, can you please give me your sneaking rolls? Because uh, this phone did group? put the... Cast without, pass yeah, without a trace. Yeah, with with cast without a trace, you guys have been walking enough time for uh it to be cast okay, as a ritual. So, so yeah, the, give me sneak rolls. With the that semi colon plus 10. didn't work last time, so I'm gonna try a colon. I'm coming back to what you asked. Uh, yeah, and we... don't do the exclamation point uh for the second one. Um. Or okay, so what if I do a regular? It's just colon? yeah. You just write like the. 20 it's, plus it's just, whatever. Yeah, for the just semicolon, one. D, whatever. No, it still didn't like uh, it. That's because you put a space there. Oh. Besides that, yeah. Well, uh, here's the other one. 17 is the higher. Geez. Hell yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, Alright, you two. guys actually all rolled reasonably well here, so uh, yeah, you're good. Even with uh, the 17 from his foam and Biff. Yeah, you guys stop. And you are still. And somehow, you've managed to actually be quiet. So, somehow. Tsugi, as you have, uh, you've stopped and you are listening for this sound, as it does continue, it's not heading towards you, it's like going in front of you. It's maybe 30 feet away. Uh, it's oh, just that's kind of close. Like, just obscured <laughs> by uh, the trees. But as you are looking again, you can kind of see a little bit of the shape of something but you can't quite make out what. It's just a large shambling shape 
that seems to be uh, going from like one side and just walking like perpendicular to you and heading towards the right and just continuing shambling along. Um, with Sugi's dirty 29, can I hop out of the front of the cart, go up to sleeve Erwin and silently soothe him and just let the creature continue on its way and pass us? Yeah, if you want. I think that's what Sugi's going to be trying to do. I don't know if everybody else is going to agree to this plan because they can't... Sugi, Sugi... Well, I don't know if they can't talk about it, but Sugi didn't. Sugi just mm -hmm. did just the thing. Stopped. It's it's gonna be up to you guys if if you guys follow with the fact that Sugi's trying to stay put, stay quiet. Um, he didn't even do like a shh. shh, shh. No, not even a shh. shh, shh. Why, He's why kind of freaked out, man. Moving? Why did we stop? Moving. I am not sure. Uh, I think God, Swiss foam kind of like scuttles to the front of the thing carefully because it was a very sudden stop. So clearly mm. something's up. Uh, 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 this and thing will... is, yeah, this thing is going rather slowly. It's uh, maybe like five foot per round, except we're not an initiative, so fuck rounds. But yeah, it's just going slow. Oh, okay. it's, uh, it's a horrible moment to sit in. <laughs> yeah, if, if, if Miss Foam clocks uh, the creature that's slowly moving past, can she try and attempt a nature check? Uh, like roll perception to see if you can see what Sugi is seeing. <gasps> oh, okay. It was only Sugi who saw you. Uh, unless you guys have passive perceptions higher than fifteen, uh, you're not gonna. Nah, see baby. Uh. Thank you for that, Zero, Frankie. Why is that glass are broken? What's going what is... on? <laughs> what is this? What? <laughs> <laughs> 20. Please, can <laughs> they cancel fire. each other out? I really don't want to get set on by a bug. Okay, the, the good... I thought we're doing it. This is a. I mean, you rolled it's a two. It's not a... Yeah, it's. it's I'm not. Yeah, it is not a crit fail. The good news is, it's not a crit fail. It is, however, a zero. I think you had like where everyone stopped and where you stopped. You have walked directly into a branch, and you have nothing but leaves in your face. <laughs> and every time you breathe, you can hear nothing but them rustling. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, with a five, Biff. It, yep. It's trees. It's trees. Yeah. However, with that nat twenty plus three, Ms. Foam. You actually managed to see this thing, and I do think your familiarity with forests helps, because you see a humanoid figure that seems to be covered in leaves and lichen and mushrooms, rather similar to your own, except real kind. This this is a creature dressed up in forest litter, basically, and it is very... It's one of those things where you can see it would be very, very tall if it stood up straight, except it's all kind of hunched over, and you can see it not just shambling, but shambling backwards, as it has a staff that it is dragging through the dirt, and just kind mm -hmm. of drags another foot, steps backwards, drags another foot, steps backwards, and is carving a line into the dirt around it. And you, and I will say, uh, Tsugi, you see this, however, it's not really clear what's going on. Um, but Ms. Foam, you stop, uh, you see this creature kind of bump into a tree and stop. Slowly turns, leans down, inspects the tree very closely. Looks at it from one side, looks at it from another side, raises up a finger and drags it along the bark, and then licks the finger, and then <laughs> and then it stands up again, and grabs the staff, and continues drawing the line of the dirt, carefully going around the tree, and putting the tree on the side of the line away from you. So it is kind of just shuffled a little bit closer to you to go around the tree and then back into the uh, where it was and continued its little line. Hey, uh, quick, quick. Hi, my beloved. Yeah. My 
wonderful DM, my great companion. Um, considering that Sugi spent the last 30 minutes inside of a magic circle, watching the magic circle being drawn <laughs> around him, do you think that he could tell that, uh, is that what this is? Because it sure seems like that. What's that? That that sure seems like that's what this is. Roll me Arcana with advantage. Damn it. Okay. Uh, question. Can I, <laughs> if I have Sugi do Toon Sign instead, give it to Frankie? Uh, Frankie, do you know Toon Sign language? It's not on the. It's not on the list, no, because I, I mean, don't think she'd ever Rolex. want to fuck. Oh. No, Rolex is verbal. Yeah, Rolex is, ex verbal. is incredibly verbal. We never what really established toon sign as a. Oh, yeah, gosh. it's it's Rolex. it's a sort of uh, toon sign language. Uh, this is one thing I will go. We're not sticking by st like uh, uh, the strict rules. If you think that it feels right for Frankie to know Toon Sign language, then I can say that you know it and it can basically just be a a sub-language of Toon Common. That is a really good question. Um... How interested was she in accessibility in her therapy sessions? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is that a trick question? <laughs> oh, this is... Hey. Okay, uh, here's the bad news, Jay. I think the in-character answer is no. <laughs> I don't I don't think Frankie would care, but that's from the outside. So you have a lot more information than I am. But did she have to I, learn it to get a degree? <laughs> what are the what are the regulations on this? Uh <laughs> this is it's... See, oh, see the thing is I mm so I'm really trying to come up with a reason uh, that she might know. I, she knows. I think she knows some. Mm. As in, like. Okay, roll me insight then to see if you can figure out what um, Tsuki is signing at you then. Yeah, and like, I think she knows like a handful of like phrases. Okay. Good, but kind of, like, yeah. uh, but she's definitely not fluent in it. Has not, uh, she knows. Had she knows enough to, to say, use it. Hello, my name is Doctor Frankie. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much, pretty much. That's it. Oh God, I hate a... insight checks so much. <laughs> oh, <17. gasps> okay. Somehow, uh, you actually manage. <laughs> you may not recognize all the signs, but from Sugi's expression, and you recognize just enough to figure out. Do a check on the thing. Is Go, it a circle? No, no it's actually it's to tell you what it was. It's like it, it consists entirely of pull branch down, point in direction. <laughs> it's the part that Frankie understands. No. There's a lot so, of other information trying to be conveyed, but that's the part that Frankie picks up on. So, so here's what happened. Sugi like has like three separate sentences in full to tune sign, and then he does like two different gestures in basic toon sign and then he pulls down the well he doesn't pull down a branch because that would crack but he picks up a branch off the ground points at circle points the branch at his feet draws a little circle and <laughs> does like circle. magic magic hands question Ooh. mark <laughs> That's a 14. Okay, a 14 is high enough that you are not getting any magical vibes off this. Um, then she is... Uh, she is going to, like, shake her head, but, like, cautiously. <laughs> because, again, there might not be necessarily any magical vibes uh, exactly, but it's still got some, uh, some kind of, like, at least ritualistic feeling even if it's just like do not go past the line the bad stuff is past the line <laughs> kind of uh mm. vibes so she's no it's just that she is going to shake her head and then just kind of like point at it and sh point at the 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 figure and just shrug <laughs> 
I mean, I don't know what to do. Because, like, normally Tsugi would be like, oh, who cares? Just walk over the line. But Tsugi is really fucking freaked out right now. Ex he is extremely freaked out. Rightfully so. Mm -hmm. Like, is is going across the line going to, to make the thing mad? Mm. Or is staying in the line going to make the thing mad? Does the thing talk? We haven't tried talking to it yet. He's completely frozen up is what I'm saying. Oh, bless. Okay. All right, I have an uh, important question that other people shouldn't hear. Yes, I know I could message it and take I can't be bothered. This is something that the listeners hear. Ms. Phone, do you know what a furball is? <sighs> this makes me very happy <laughs> if you don't then everyone's fucked you are probably like the one person here who i reckon would probably know you know what probably thinking about the sort of um the the, the sort of the vibe of the area that she resides in i mm. feel like there could be uh fubbles because in quote there is a decent mix of um you know, real kind and tune kind mm -hmm. uh, being. So it makes sense that possibly a furball would take be in the area that she also resides in. So yeah, I don't know how frequent that is, but she's probably seen weirder. She has seen weirder. She has <laughs> if, seen. Okay. But she, if she has seen the furball, she hasn't noticed it as something odd. Okay. Okay. You 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 don't know for certain because. There is a lot of lichen and mushrooms growing on this thing, but you kind of got a glimpse of its face at one point when it was kind of licking its finger that touched the tree, and mm -hmm. you saw the kind of like broader nose, and you're putting it together with like being tall, the long limbs and everything, and like, oh, wait, I think I've seen one of those before. Is, is that a fur bulk? Eh? Mm. Mm. No, no, she, she is, she feels, she, 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 she will, she will just simply say, uh, um, go on to Sugi, say this, uh, like, quietly as well, be like, this being, I feel like I can at least try and go up and talk with it, it could be the keeper, it could be a passerby. You... Would you he like tries to speak and then there's like a catch in his voice and he quickly shifts over to tune sign um and he signs can you do it away from the cart if things go bad we will come save you but if the cart and then he like pauses and he's like if we don't need to draw attention to the cart let's not My child, I don't know what you are doing. <laughs> There's a tiny little fuck. <laughs> and 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 then he goes, okay. Can you he he says what I what I just said. But mm -hmm. essentially he signed it. She said, I have no idea what that means. He's like, fuck. And then he just he, he he just repeats himself, but not in sign. Okay. Uh his his voice seems to keep catching though, like he like he's trying trying almost too hard to be quiet. So mm -hmm. um, bad news. Oh good. Ms. Foam, while mm -hmm. you were whispering, you were probably just a teeny bit louder than you, you thought you maybe should have been. Just a teeny bit. Just a teeny bit. Oh, suddenly, the so good. suddenly the figure stops and looks up in your direction. And it can't see all of you because some of you really did genuinely roll good um, stealth. <laughs> but it does see? spot Ms. Foam's little glowing eyes. <coughs> and it just stares for a second. There's very much a moment of deer caught in the headlights, kind of uh, uh, frozen. The, the amount of the strong eye contact Ms. Foam has with this figure. Yeah, so oh God. it goes fucking on matching it several seconds of just like Neh. sort of uh, again. I'm so sad yeah. that you guys okay. can't see the ridiculous okay. faces okay. I'm pulling. <laughs> yeah, they, they are a treat. I'm telling you. Uh, uh, after, after it recovers, though, it stops and it drops its staff for a second, <laughs> and then it kind of 
scurries about and does this little like rocking back and forth of uh, 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 sort of and then go like quickly steps forward and you notice oh no this thing can actually move fast when it wants to on its massively long looping legs steps forward and kind of stops at the point um or just behind the line that it had drawn um is but also still staring at you and kind of holds its hands out in a gesture that's kind of semi pushing you back okay like palms out fingers splayed before you and it's just like pushing you away almost but nothing's happening other than it's standing here and it just holding its hands out uh okay how wait how close is it is it like still a good it, it's still about 30 feet away yeah, yeah, yeah okay um miss phone will stay put uh and she'll s- slightly like tilt slash bow her head and close her eyes almost like the full motion almost resembles like a curtsy um and she will speak and say i do not intend to do any harm i am lost in this location and we were here to find the seeker So keeper, yeah, it's a keeper, not a seeker. Oh, I can't even remember that. Wait, Sue, yeah, you say that out loud. <laughs> Musk, Musk, under her breathing his... into the microphone. Sorry, sorry, I was just adjusting it. It's no, okay. <laughs> like Sugi, if you say that out loud, please make me another stealth roll. Even if I whisper, yes, yes, this thing is like paying attention now. <laughs> Well, I still have the bonus, so. Yeah, I'm good. still fine. Yeah, you're still fine. <laughs> yeah, you know, you're still just absolutely vanished. The mud on you has blended into every, like a tree trunk and you are invisible, uh, effectively. Um, but yeah, the 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 Febog just kind of cocks its head to the side a little bit, its ears perking up and a confused expression on its face as it as you are speaking this film but after a few seconds it does uh kind of like the slow blink bowing head uh same sort of thing that you're doing while also kind of and then when it looks up again uh does the little pushing motion away again okay <laughs> i mean presumably that would mean step back <laughs> Uh, uh, she, she, do, do, should I, would you like us to be away from this location? Miss Foam, what what languages do you speak? Alright, baby, let's look at the fucking list. And I'm going to say right now, common doesn't count. Okay, because so, they're being a single well, local a language. language. Fuck oh. that. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's common she... for our lo- our usual location. Exactly. <laughs> she knows Druidic, mm-hmm. Elvish, oh. mm-hmm. and Grolix. Okay, you will understand this next thing yet yeah, then because it is spoken in Elvish. Um, okay, and it comes kind of. It has a weird accent to it that can only really be heard when it is someone speaking a very different dialect to what you are used to. However, um, Elvish being an incredibly ancient language that very slowly changes and elves being, again, kind of adjacent to the Fae and having spread out a fair chunk, it's it's not uniform, but it's pretty similar. It is the equivalent of uh, someone French talking to someone French Canadian. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and it would just be, do not come closer. It, it is not safe. You must go back. This area is not safe. Uh, she will say, uh, my my dear, we do not have a back to go to. We are just looking for some assistance. Assistance? Just questioning are, the look of that little tilted head thing again. We are very 
very lost <laughs> and to me what were you <laughs> i am not a smart man <laughs> I just, I'm yeah. sorry. The, the film I'm... just nods slowly just ah uh, sort of <laughs> sorry Oh god. Yep, 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 yep. Uh yeah, she'll just be like uh even getting a sense of where we are would be appreciated so we know where it is where it is safe to go and maybe go home. Uh, okay, as, as, yeah, this thing kind of just, like, again, it stops and pauses. This thing moves very slowly, and it needs to take time to think. And you are in the forest. Humans, bullets, uh, Elpec, I, I... Hmm. No, that's not right. Shakes his head then, just to clear the thought. Um, where is home? Uh, I come from a land called Inkwell. No recognition on the Furbolg's face. Mm, I see. I believe it is very far from here. In an instant, it was night, and now it is morn. So, I believe Inkwell is very, very far from here. He kind of, again, like, just watches you for a fair while, and then just eventually kind of straightens up a little bit from the hunched over, don't come closer sort of uh, state it was in before. Goes and picks up the stuff it dropped, and starts stepping a little bit closer. Uh, it's not, the staff is more held in just upright, and you can sense a very slight magical glow starting to form at the tip as uh, the furball comes closer. However, the mm -hmm. furball is coming closer. Zuki, Frankie, Biff. <laughs> <laughs> I just have imagined like, Zuki did the like Homer Simpson into the hedge. <laughs> 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 And Biff and, and Frankie are just, like, crouched behind the cart. Like, neither one knows what's happening, but it seems pretty serious. <laughs> yeah. Jurassic Park, uh, T-Rex scene. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, this doesn't necessarily look, like, actively malicious in any way. Like, uh, how much of the face can we see? Um... It's now that it is kind can of. Can we see them? Yeah, at this point, you can definitely see it. You can see the whole of it. It's no longer hiding. It is, um, or like less hiding, more just blending into the rest of the forest. So it's the sort of, um, you can't always see its outline massively clearly, but also, no, you can see this creature and it is at least eight foot tall. Oh, God! <laughs> Tall. Cool. I was gonna ask how big is uh -huh. it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's it's the sort of like nice eight, eight foot hands. tall, still kind of hunched over. It, you know that um kind of neck stretched forward, shoulders hunched, kind of over itself that really tall people do to make themselves look smaller. Have you seen mm. Alan Alda in Mash? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> terrible, <laughs> terrible posture. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, at that, like, doing that, standing eight foot tall, while still standing like that. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. I see. Um, Noogie is so slowly, so carefully petting Sleeve Erwin's nose. He 
is standing very still. Yeah, what's he... the horse vibe? Can we get check. a vibe check from the horse? Um, <laughs> the thing is, the horse is actually perfectly calm. That's nice. probably good, actually. The horse, the horse is just standing there. It's, 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 it's like just another happening. animal. Yeah. Horses. The horse, if anything, seems calmer than usual. I mean, given that nice. horses are fucking uh, yeah, anxiety say, horses on legs, are. then that's probably a good sign, right? <laughs> Maybe. Meanwhile, the other anxiety on legs, Tsugi, is <laughs> still flipping the fuck out. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay, does anyone do anything, or does the fur- do you guys allow the furball to approach? I- I mean, there's no reason not to! Mm -hmm. If it attacks, then we know. If it's just approaching, then we know more once it's approached. Yeah, that's the general (laughs) feeling, I think. Yeah. Okay. I- I- Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Nothing she will say. She feel like if she moves forward- he might get jumped because he seems re- this person seems very nervous. Uh, I actually realize Biff, I think he can technically see you as well, but also is not paying attention to you because Ms. That's just a there. boulder in the background. Biff, I don't know what you're is, talking about. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's behind an exceptionally wide tree. Like as, <laughs> as, as long as you stay still, he's not going to notice you. He can technically see you, but he's not going to pay attention to you. <laughs> And like, she is mostly forest colors, right? She's like fairly yeah, like yeah, like the muted muted blues. Anyway, so yeah, comes closer and waves the staff in the air and mutters something, and suddenly it like you kind of have this glow radiating off all of you now, and ha ha! Congratulations, <laughs> it can see the lot of you. Uh huh. Uh, but yes, it does have like this very faint glow of magic radiating off. You can't feel any different. Um, it kind of just see this now and just ah, this is the bring bringing things forth magic. You appeared here. This is very strong. It is harsh. But why? Hello, yes. Uh, it, I was it. it actively takes a step back as soon as yeah. Frank kind of pops up. Yeah. You can see the outlines I of was... all of you, but was, couldn't see see you, just knew there were more people there. Then Frankie appears. Yeah, yeah. it's just uh-huh. like, hello, was... yes. <laughs> She's it's a good thing they couldn't actually see us, though, because I was going to say um, Biff was probably starting to reach for a weapon, just in case. Yeah, no, that's, <laughs> fair, that's fair. <laughs> listen, listen, when a strange person comes and gets close to your friend, and you know, it's not Starts always, it's not stuff always about. great. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. No, it's not a bad instinct. <laughs> yeah, no. So then I think it's just sort of like okay, notices Biff, prob- notices Biff moving. Yeah, probably That's didn't fine. see Biff reach specifically for a weapon. Yeah, Biff was but grabs doing something. it slowly. Like it's the sort of like okay, I I think like Biff it can see like it can see you. It has noticed you. It is like oh okay, yep, another person there, another person <laughs> Got, there, yep, another person there. Why is that thing fluorescent pink? <laughs> ah, this hurts my eyes. <laughs> Sensory overload. I've never seen hell. this color before. What would it be like <laughs> to see a color you've never seen before? <laughs> Shrimp colors, shrimp colors, basically. Oh and yes, we're cutting to red apple fairy. Stumbling step backwards. Like, no, no, it's it's, it's all right. Uh, you, you, I'm I'm just uh ans- just trying to answer your question. Uh, you um uh, somebody does Frankie, Frankie speak Elvish? No. Do you speak Elvish? No, just talking at this creature. So you don't know what asked the question. <laughs> Oh yeah, sorry. With the conversation was going on for it's, yeah, no, it's all enough. entirely. She could have, she could have intuited that there was a question being asked by the way that it that it was saying words, and then Miss Foam would say words back. I mean, yeah, but wouldn't I mean, know the yeah, context kind of, a dialogue of the question. Go- there was a there was a a, a dialogue yeah. uh, going on clearly. Do, do you right, as far as as far as Frankie, hmm. as far as you're aware, this thing kind of talked a little bit, then looked curious. So. Yeah, no, that's um uh fair enough. Uh, that is that's kind enough of... for Frankie to come in. It's Frankie. Yeah, <laughs> that's enough. Yeah. That'll do it. She's concerned. <laughs> uh, so <laughs> yeah, no, um, she uh will uh uh she will be you know she will still hold her hands and no 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 don't don't be uh don't be alarmed. Uh, 
we have uh, a, presumably Miss Firm has uh, filled you in on uh, most of the salient details, but we have um, we have come a long way. And uh, would you please uh, be able to maybe send us back, or at least tell us uh, where exactly we are? Yeah, like what language <laughs> yeah. are you speaking there? Um, she would actually. Um, she would. She uh, does actually know more than. One, she would try common first. Um, yeah, Toon common, uh, no. Yeah, the other two um, are technically actually uh, academic languages that mm -hmm. she uh, knows um, for uh, poking at uh, uh, various study things. So she knows um, uh, under common and celestial enough to kind of like pick through scientific stuff. So nah. she tries a couple of those. Nah. <laughs> but okay. it's, that's interesting. Sorry. Oh, no, that's like, kind of <laughs> like her ears droop a little bit. She looks back at Miss Foam like <laughs> My lovely yeah. puffy son does know multiple languages, but neither of those two, sorry. <laughs> uh what's the thing Frankie asked again? Like where are we and uh could you send us back? More or less, yes. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh so uh, Miss uh Miss Foam will essentially like uh relay that to this and uh like add on like these. This is one of my compatriots that got sent here with me. I, why, it, it, mm, I, mm, <laughs> uh, you can you can tell that it's purpose, like having to actively look away from Frankie and trying to. Kind of, oh, like, like, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's not good. Uh, but yes. You're so actively bright. giving them a headache. Derogatory. <laughs> Pretty much. I mean, Frankie actively gives a lot of people a headache, though. <laughs> Correct. Hey! She usually has to talk to them for a bit first, though. Yeah. <laughs> so just because like, okay, uh, so uh, you and you and your four companions, I, I, I do not know where your home is. I. This is the forest of the Firbolgs of Tetranus. This is, I, this I don't know what that is. To, can, 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 can she not? <laughs> <laughs> she it is like it rarely turns off. <laughs> You really? get just put her it. under a blanket. You know, <laughs> hey, hey, you know that canvas we were talking about earlier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically. Uh, but yeah, the the, the furball kind of just like grinds its palms into its eyes in the sort of like, oh yeah, migraine coming on kind of look. <laughs> um, yeah. It says, it does, do you translate that for Frankie? <laughs> because... Oh, oh, um, uh, I, Miss, Miss Foam will say in common, like, I do not believe this person is used to seeing beings like us. That's a, that's a tactful way of putting it. You know, this is what it is. This is what she'd say. <laughs> no, fair enough. Okay. Wait, what did she, how did she say it? I'm sorry, I zoned out for just a second. Um, uh, this creature is not used to seeing beings like us. Okay, cool, good. I yeah. love it. I love yeah. it. What is that, 11? I was just trying to say, like, can Frankie pick up on the fact that she's actively causing... I, I like, I'm this is and relatively like, obvious. Yeah, yes. with an 11, yes. Yes, you can. Okay, then the, yes. The, uh, the, the furball is not hiding any of this. Also, you don't know what a furball is. No, not None of you know what this thing is. It's a very tall guy. It's just a really tall guy. Uh, but no, Frankie's just like, ah, oh, no, no, this is, um... Not completely unprecedented. Uh, would... Uh, and she's just go. She she takes like a couple of like half steps backwards, but she also doesn't really know what to do with herself. Like, she's willing, fuck? but like the spirit <laughs> is willing, but the body is weak. <laughs> again, again, um, maybe out of line of sight, like yeah, to the yeah. side. Again, that's what we we have Up that, into we the have cart. That fucking, like square of canvas in the cart, just fucking cover her. No, it's so mean. 
put a button right, down for like, and she'll fall asleep. Like, <laughs> you can probably like put like put a ha- like stand to the side next to a tree and kind of like not hide behind it, but be like <laughs> partially covered maybe, and or also you're off to the side. No, she, you know. <laughs> okay, no, no, you know. You, she, stand she, behind she, Biff. <laughs> Who at um, this point is probably not as actively sneaking. Uh, she's mm-hmm. if if the person knows that she's there, she doesn't have to hide herself. Uh, that's fine. She feels better standing up straight anyway. Um, <laughs> mm-hmm. She probably looks a little intimidating. She's quite scary. I don't know if this person would be intimidated by her, but um, it's kind of her natural state of being to just look like. I, yeah, I was gonna say, are you, you, you are you purposely being intimidating, or are you kind of just standing there? No, nah, it's just her resting face. Yeah, yeah that's a default face. Uh, I'm gonna make a fucking whiz save. So, oh no, oh, oh no. buddy, Just because oh I, now, please, I will note he is very shy. However, he, okay, I, and yeah, sixteen you know will what? be fine. Yeah, sixteen. This is sort good. of you can tell he's like a little bit skittish. There's a little bit ah uh, yes, ready to leg it at any kind of given second. Um, nice, but he doesn't seem to be outright scared of you. Great. Um, Zugi is still just... not moving. Mm-hmm. Fair. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's fair. Just to um, give the poor boy just <laughs> give the poor boy a rest. Um, yeah, for after like a couple of awkward uh, steps, that Frankie will just kind of like put her hands up and just be like, "You know what? I will be over here if you need me." And she is literally just going to walk behind a tree, <laughs> like and she and, like. Of sight, she is out of sight. Uh, she is just going to fold her arms and like scowl at the forest. She's not happy. <laughs> Damn. Uh, at least, at, at least the furbog isn't like having to rub at his eyes anymore. Yeah, <laughs> she has withdrawn herself from this conversation. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know what? I could have Biff do. I never do this, and I get like four of these a day. Um. Just for giggles, it's probably not anything, but can she do a uh, divine sense? She Ooh. gets to know the location of any celestial fiend uh, or undead within 60 feet that's not behind total cover. Uh, or or if there's desecrated or consecrated ground. Uh, yeah, go ahead. She, she does this. I don't think there's any, like, really specific thing. She's just Maybe looking. The... Yeah, I mean, she basically just kind of looks... She probably um, holds her hand like over like where her heart is uh where she's got her signet ring um and just kind of surveys the area looks at this person with slightly more suspicion <laughs> for just a uh, moment as well, she as she activates that spell okay so for the or it's most not a spell part, it's a paladin ability but yes. yeah for the most part you don't really see anything there's no uh demons or fiends or anything about that the one thing that you notice is uh there is a at least a, a semi-faint s- s- glow of celestial coming from the Furbolg. Nice. So, wouldn't say full-on god status, but halfway there, maybe. We got us a demigod! <laughs> <laughs> Making your way up. Uh, yeah. Trying to think through what we asked. We asked, like, hi, hello, we're not going to kill you. Where am I? Have you seen what, this guy? We didn't ask what the danger was. Mm-hmm. Like, that what one. exactly... Uh, the... Also, you didn't get a clear answer of the Kiefer thing, but I believe the answer is like, that's not them. Um, Yeah. It's not desecrated ground, though. Um, ooh, let me quickly fucking check a thing. Um, sure. I put the divine sense uh, definition in. Yeah, yeah, thank yeah. you. Yeah. Uh, give me a second. Sorry, I'm, I'm just really curious about this, but it is like a matter of definitions, I suppose. <laughs> um, hey, it's, hmm. Ugh, sorry, yeah, give me a set. This is one of those ones I just need to like, check the rule- rules like uh, yeah. 20 times over. No, listen, if uh, we're playing real D&D, you can take as much time to check yeah. the rules yeah, as yeah, you yeah. like. <laughs> mm-hmm. There's a lot of them. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
you get okay you can actually you considering that how it is actually designed since phrase you are getting the beautiful music or like just, yeah. just the faint the, you have like the faint music and kind of like radiating aura coming from the furbolg you can also smell the stench of not something rotting but something that is definitely blighted it is, seems to be coming from the area that the Philbog had been tracing a line around mm. and like it's the stronger it you can smell it a little bit out here as well but it's coming so much stronger from that area of the forest ahead of you it is it is foul and i don't desecrated to some definition yes so definitely comes more under the undead side of things but oh, it's something fucked up <laughs> is the it does is the fur ball good yes nice well actually i think it's true neutral one moment let me double check well fairly sure is uh um i didn't write it down <laughs> that's fair <laughs> uh realistically neutral good okay cool 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 cool, cool. good to know Excellent. She gets like four of these a day. I never use them. Mm -hmm. uh, um, I well, you're going to have plenty of have... chances to use. Sorry, go ahead. Uh, no, no, there is actually one other piece of information that Jay has just reminded me of, and no <gasps> hiding behind it. No, it's full cover. Oh, it's, uh... Not behind total it's... cover. It's not technically total cover. Hiding behind a tree counts as partial cover. Okay, fine, <laughs> fine. <laughs> you get a tiny inkling of celestial stuff from Frankie as well. Oh, okay. Just well, you're under cover. You're behind cover from the Furbolg, not necessarily from Biff. Biff <laughs> says the thing, so partial cover. For the middle of the time, trees protect you from the Furbolg, not the Biff. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's time for the good jokes. I am aware of the time, uh, but yep. also I want to have a good wrapping up point mm, of this session. Okay. Mm -hmm. so i think what might be a good ending point is yes describing this is what you sense biff this is what you are aware of and the longer that you kind of pay attention to the forest the stronger the smell gets and you are aware that yes this furbog was just drawing a line around the extent of it but like as you kind of pay attention and normally your perception's not fantastic but this this smell this is your own divine sense, literally, yep. showing you that it's creeping outwards, inch mm. by inch. And I think that's a good point to end things until tomorrow. Oh no! Nice. We gotta stop a decaying forest! I mean, no you don't, you could just leave. <laughs> yeah, I'm not saying we don't have to do anything, we just, we just need directions. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah we which, just need directions. Which direction would we leave to? That way. Yeah, which way <laughs> away are you gonna from, go, fucker? Away from the evil. <laughs> something, something, something. They came for the other people, so I let them be. Then they came for us, and there was no <laughs> yeah. way to defend us. You think I'm gonna fall for that? No. <laughs> Not today. Or tomorrow, technically. <laughs> well, also, uh, I love this cool. book. Very much. This film saw this guy this I was like, oh, friend. This guy registers his friend, I think. This friend. Kelly friend. Again, metagaming. He is friend. He is very good friend. I love him friend. so much. I love he. <laughs> Two Can of you will recognize him. Bring the Furbolg with us forever and ever. And he is our fifth party <laughs> member. And oh, no, we can't that do that to him. Take him. Take the boy out the forest. That to him. <laughs> Yeah, put leave, leave leave the boy in the forest. Can we give him a sending stone at least or I'm, something? I'm not gonna say anything either way, yep. uh, because it is entirely down to how you guys play things out and how mm -hmm. much the dice like you. There are no certainties. Any oh well, we're here. fucked then. Clearly, yeah, hell yeah, yeah. You're no all more uncertainties. No more uncertainties. Only fear. Only fear. <laughs> Fear until tomorrow. The, For now, I think we should uh, do the goodbye. We should do goodbyes because Be. people need Farewell. food and or break and or anything. But welcome to chapter three. This is where the real campaign starts. Ah, the rest is where the real shit and prologue. <laughs> <laughs>
Bye. 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 Bye.